Pineapple soda. I'm not mad. She's not mad. Everyone, she's not mad. Because if anyone is wondering, I am not mad. I'm gonna make Cloudy super big for for stream. Okay, cool. Look at her, she's taking over my stream. Oh my oh, god! Oh, everyone lives. Everyone bow down. <laughs> <laughs> she's taking over. Oh my god! Look, it's a Cloudy Clouds takeover, guys. I am. Look at it. It's a cloudy clouds oh takeover. <laughs> Let's fucking go. This is the stream now. Welcome to it's cloudy clouds at clouds dot clouds dot at clouds. Bum, bum, bum. Uh, Zach's welcome to join if you like, but it is just reading. He doesn't like reading. Even though he read books, just want to read with us. All right, that's fine. Wow, it's Kai. I do. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, right, I can't even hear. Hold on. Because the game's so loud. Of characters. Sleepy! Hey, Sleepy. Claudia's about to murder you. <laughs> He's actually about to commit a crime. I learned about a tactical whip today. They look really cool. A tactical I whip? I love tactical whips. Dude, I've oh, always wanted one. In one. I've I always will. wanted to. On a tactical I whip. Tactical like a whip yeah, for it's fighting? Like it's okay. like a self-defense mechanism. Yeah. That's yeah, funny. Oh, Perfect. I love you. This is when, it was funny. I was making uh, this couple tell me a cosplay this. with the character that yeah, had a whip, right, and I'm like, what if I right just away. got a real This one? is when I'm going to use <laughs> this part over here. Like, I could just go to the convention just to stab him into the I, don't, I actually don't so think they allow you to have real weapons. Right? Right? No, you can't. No. I'm going to fake one. I'm going to be like, what do you mean? It's faked. You see how, like, like. That is a tactical whip. It is a tactical whip. Do you remember at AX they would put um what was it those bands around swords and stuff that way they can't come out of the sheets? Oh yeah, I had to do that. My brother had to get one for his keyblade, but the thing is the keyblade is just like a pole, so yeah. it's just like a little safety band around a keyblade. <laughs> it's like what, it's just wood; you can't do anything with it. Yeah. All right, you ready for the list of characters? I'm assistant. No, I'm watching oh, something. So, so, yeah, Cloudy's going to be the assistant, Emma. But, Cloudy, you could have another character if you want. Whoa. You can have the older sister of the assistant. That's what I did last time, pretty much. All right, she's both of them. And then, Kai, you can have the only other girl, which is going to be Angel Star. Wait, uh, that's so weird. What? I can't say it on stream. That's so. Weird. And do you want to be a cowboy as well? Yeah, I want to know what's so weird. Okay, I'll mute. Uh oh. Okay, you, you guys are muted.
You, get, you guys are good, right? Okay. Oh, All right. Okay. Okay. okay, cool. Um, so Angel Star is one of the only other female casts. So I'm assuming Kai, you'll do that one, right? Hell yeah. And then we have the main prosecutor who's going to be battling against Diggy, which I nominate Cloudy for. What? Because the assistant doesn't talk too much. I got two speaking roles. Two speaking roles? Okay. Oh, Phoenix Wright. All right. Okay. So who wants to be Miles? Do you, Kai, do you want to be the, 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 the rival? He has a lot of lines, oh. by the way. Miles Edgeworth has a lot of lines because not only is the prosecutor, but you talk to him off of the court, outside of the courtroom. You know what? Sure. Let's go. Yeah. Cloudy, you are going to have a lot of lines for the first arc because Lana, which is the older sister, is the defendant, and then Emma is the assistant. And then there's Dick Gumshoe, which is technically for Sammy, Damon Gant, Jake Marshall, Mike Meekins. Oh, wait, is Sammy coming? Oh. No, she's grounded. She's grounded. She's but she can watch, apparently. But are you guys ready? I think so. Wait, Larry, what are you gonna do? I'll just be any of the one that you guys don't want to do. Which, there are four I'll guys. Like you gotta be Jake Marshall. You and want me to be a... Yeah. Guy, guy, so who wants to be Detective Gumshoe? Do we just give it to... We you give it to could cut. also be him, because you dragged the soul here. <laughs> it's perfect. Alright. You're just. Thing is, you're just. I'm Lana and Emma. Yeah, you're Lana and Emma. But the thing is, with Kai, like, there's only one character. So Kai, you need to do either Edgeworth or a, a, or another dude. Oh, that's really your call. I'm down for whatever. I think you should be Gumshoe. Or I think you should. I think you should be Miles Edgeworth. I think you should be Miles Edgeworth, personally. I think Diggy. So do you have a conversation with Diggy? We, we decided that not too long ago. Okay. Are right, you guys ready? I just wanted to know his name. No. Okay. Objection! Objection! It was Cloud, y'all. Look at the blood yes. on your hands. We knew. Look at the blood. I'm not Larry, though. Oh, you're right. Uh, I mean, what? Also the victim. He did it himself. Uh, did it himself. <laughs> Perfect crime. It was a fake murder. No one will ever know. Game ready, nailed it. Two months without a single trial. Two months without a single trial. Wow. Two months. Two, two months. months. I had two offers, months. But I took. I, but none. I took. I didn't take any of them. That is until the day the girl showed up. The girl! Red Phoenix, you can't just decide to stop <laughs> I mean, too much. He, but he, dude, those cases were expensive, you know? February 22, 10 02 a.m., right in Cold Office. Look, it's that plan that you were taking care of. Why do I come here to the office every day? That's pretty depressing. It's not like I want to work. I think this is. Buddy. Is that me? There you are, finally! Where have you been? Message trials tomorrow. Ellipses. Um. <laughs> who are you? It doesn't matter who I am. It only matters who you are. The famous defense hmm. attorney. <laughs> A little bit like me for a second. Mia <laughs> Like, She's what? dead. <laughs> Hi, bullet. Oof. I know, right? It's kind of fucked. Who's gonna tell her? Oh, uh, you're not Mia Faye, are you? I'm sorry, but Miss Mia Faye no longer works here. So you are the coffee boy? I'm Phoenix Wright, a defense attorney. Yeah, coffee boy. Right, right. Wait. You're the Phoenix Wright? The Phoenix Wright from the Edward murder case? Uh, yes, that's correct. It wasn't Edgeworth who was murdered, though. That's the relief, then. You're better than nobody. <laughs> <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not taking cases right now. 
But you are Phoenix Wright, right? <laughs> the undefeated defense attorney? Like, come on now. Look, I'm not accepting any new cases, okay? I'm sorry, but you'll have to, to try somewhere else. Please! I'm out of time! But My sister is in trouble. Please, you have to help. It's my sister! Oh! Oh. It's the same voice. It's kidding. <laughs> it sounds exactly the same. Crazy! Maya, could it be? <laughs> Okay, I'll hear you out. Re really? Thank you so much. My name is Emma, Emma Sky. I am scientific investigator. Scientific investigator? Emma, was it? So you're a scientific investigator? That, yes, that's right. Is something wrong? No, it's just you seem kind of a jumpy or maybe just young. Young? I'll be 16 years old this year. Oh, you're li only 16? <laughs> I gotta check the court records. Uh, 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 16 high school junior. I'm sent Aww. to be formally assigned to forensics in three more years. My work is becoming quite well known at my age, no less. Uh, so what exactly is your current position then? Well, legally speaking, I guess you call me an 11th grader. But I'm ready to do my job at, at, at my age, no less. Oh, she's 11. Great. Right. Right. Another future professional in training. So, what's... Oh, sorry, there's dogs outside. What's this case about? You said, you said the trial's tomorrow? It seems a little late. My sister didn't do it. She wouldn't stab someone with a knife. She wouldn't. Oh, uh -huh. She a gun. So it's a murder case. <laughs> it's a gun that shot knives. I don't care if there's a witness who saw her do it. She didn't do it. Oh, that's pretty bad. <laughs> I know she didn't do it. It's a scientific fact. And there's a witness. Just, just, just talk to her. You have to talk to her. Right. I, I suppose I will. I promised her I'll bring me a fae, but... That's interesting. How would she know Mia? Okay, I'll take my urn with me. So, you want, <laughs> uh, you want to be a scientific investigator when you grow up then? Excuse me? I'm not a child, I'll have you know. Still, it's good to have goals. Albeit very unusual ones. I believe investigations should be done scientifically. Don't you? Yeah. Sure can't falter for the lack of enthusiasm. If this case is handled scientifically, I'm sure my sister's name will be clear. Your sister. I'm doing research, you know. I'm developing a new scientific method of case investigation. I'll show you when I'm done. I'm looking forward to it then. I guess I should get down to the detention center and talk to her sister. Oh, my sister asked for Mia specifically. This Mia Fey person was a few years below her in school. Mia's been dead for a minute. I'm surprised. Yeah. <laughs> like, like a yearish. <laughs> yeah. They went to the same school, huh? She always told me to go to me if I ever needed a defense attorney. And, well, I need one. Um, incidentally, Mia is a woman. Now that you mention it, I guess it is more of a woman thing than a man thing. <laughs> well, it's nice of you to, want to help out your sister like this. You must be close. No? Uh... Actually, when she got when she gets like she is now, I kind of hate her. <laughs> but, but but she's my only family, you know. So you know. your only <laughs> family? What about your parents? <laughs> they died in a car accident. Fuck me, dude. 
Oh my god. I'm so sorry. Alright, time to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's just go. <laughs> oh, yeah, we gotta check out this plant, dude. Yeah. Me is playing Charlie. <laughs> Been taking care of him in Maya's absence. Oh. We don't need to read the fucking chair. <laughs> but the chair. What's this painting about? It's a poster. It's Steel a poster. Samurai. Steel Samurai. Maya's stuck it up there the day that she left. Aww. I didn't have the heart to take it down. I do sometimes get a strange look from clients, though. They walk into a legal office and it has Power Ranger posters on there. February 22, Detention Center Visitor's Room. Hmm, I wonder what's wrong with Emma. It's like her sister is stuck in prison or something. She just got quiet crazy. all of a sudden. Weird. So you too, is cloudy. No, guard, I thought I told you I didn't want any visitors. Uh, sorry, ma'am, it's just your sister. No excuses. Or did you not want a raise this year? <sighs> uh, understood, ma'am. What was that all about? <laughs> Hi, Lana. Funny. I seem to remember specifically telling you not to come here. Shit, Perhaps the memory is failing? Uh, look. I didn't want to come eat either, okay? But your trial's tomorrow and you still don't have a defense attorney! I'll be the one in court tomorrow. This has nothing to do with you, Emma. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? <laughs> so hey, how do you know me? Mia mentioned you. I've heard quite a bit. All good things, I'm sure. What exactly is that? It, it, yeah. My name is Lana, Lana Sky. I'm Good Chief Pro Pro I can't say this word. Prosecutor for this go. district. <laughs> Nailed it. You're, You're a, a prosecutor? prosecutor? She's a prosecutor. Two sisters, one a lawyer. Could be a coincidence. Emma, Lana. I mean, they're just like. Sisters or something, and I know <laughs> something multiple of wrong. those. Sister, right? <laughs> There's something you should know from the start. Which is? The suspect in this case has confessed to the crime. Huh? Wait, but the, the suspect, the suspect is... Me. I did it. Well, Mr. Wright. Well... Right. Why don't you begin by telling me exactly what happened then? The crime took place yesterday, February 21st, at 5.15 p.m. That's quite specific. It was in the witness's disposition. A witness clearly saw him committing the crime. Uh, my, that was a bit of bad luck, wasn't it? The crime took place in the underground parking lot of the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. The prosecutor's office, huh? In your subordinate's trunk? Classy. I was arrested on the spot, cut red-handed as it were. Well, that's just great. I've never lost a single case. I'm so glad I agreed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so who was the victim? An investigator with the, the, the police department. I suppose the correct term is detective. A detective? Death was due to loss of blood. He was stabbed once in the stomach. By you? Death wasn't immediate, but the, the wound was fatal. I see. Allow me to repeat myself, Mr. Ray. The victim was a detective. You know what that means, don't you? You killed detectives, which I... What, Mr. Wright? What does it mean? Well, it means... 
the me. police department will consider it a matter of pride to have my me found guilty. They will use any means at their disposal to do so. This case gets worse and worse with everything I learned. So, you're the chief prosecutor? That is correct. I'm responsible for overseeing every trial handed by the prosecutors in this district. I make sure that make sure the prosecutors have what they need to do the job and manage every aspect. Those are my responsibilities in a nutshell. That's an awful large nutshell. Still, I'm a little surprised. I would think you'd recognize this district's chief prosecutor, Mr. Wright. I have been inside my bed for like the past three months and a half <laughs> eating nothing but Cheerios. <laughs> you can't expect me to remember everyone. In fact, it seems impossible you wouldn't. Uh, Lana? What happened to your hand? Oh, this? Meow. I cut myself by accident when I stabbed him, that is. Huh? I'm not very good at being a criminal, I suppose. How am I supposed to defend this? What am I doing here? Time to change the subject. <laughs> Wait, she was in the class ahead of Mia, wasn't she? Um, so you were in school with Mia, correct? A few years above her? Emma told you that too, did she? Well, why not? I did drag him all the way here from his office. Although it seems he has very little in common with Mia. Hey! She was in law school. I was in my third year and she was um, auditing the class. She was different than the other students. She had magical, <laughs> mystical powers that let her transform yeah, the way she huge. looked. huge! Boobs. <laughs> <laughs> she was strong. She'd do anything to Personal. become a defense attorney. Anything. <laughs> that that was probably why she was attracted to me. She was attracted to you? <laughs> Excuse me? It's all starting to come together. Intellectually attracted, Lana was top of her Yeah, they shut that off. Oh, in Quick. <laughs> I was the best there was. Nah, she was crushing. I'm doing pretty good in school too, by the way. She's like, I was the best there was, and I only settled for the best. Sounds a bit different when my Emma says it. She is an 11th grader. Well, Mr. Wright? Excuse me? As you can plainly see, I am admitting my guilt. I think it's safe to say there's no way you could take this case. None. But, but Lana... Why? why? Why are you doing this to me? You never think of anyone but yourself. So suck. Damn. Yeah, you heard me. I know you didn't do it, Lana. I know. So, so how can you say you did it? If I lose you, I'll be all alone. She did it. I, I hate you, Lana. Hey, fuck, man. She's already in prison. Mr. Wright? Uh-huh. I believe our discussion here is ended. Oh, please. The rest, I leave to you. Uh, you mean you're requesting my services or defense? Don't lose any sleep over it. Your client has confessed after all. The case is over. Right. I'll do what I can to get to the bottom of this. Lana's confessed to the crime, yes. But something doesn't fit. It's that look in Emma's eyes. I'll use that as evidence. <laughs> Just look at her eyes, as an uh, officer. I <laughs> use them as evidence. In the courtroom. Josh, just look at her. Sorry, Mr. Wright. Huh? About what? My sister, she's not always like that, you know. I hate it. Every single bit of that. <laughs> I just never expected defending another prosecutor again. She's changed a lot. She used to be so gentle, always smiling. Everyone liked her. Damn. And now everyone hates her. <laughs> Sorry, but I'm having trouble imagining that. It must be... <laughs> she became what happened to her? <laughs> She's such a bitch, man. 
I don't know for certain myself. I think maybe she will... Maybe not. Probably murder, honestly. Changes some people. Yeah, Sounds like there's too. something there that defies a simple scientific explanation. Let's go check out the underground parking lot in the prosecutor's office, shall we? Okay. Underground parking lot, guys. Here we are. February 22nd, prosecutor's office, underground parking lot. So this is where this is the lot where it all happened. Looks like they're still investigating. Funny, that's my first visit to a prosecutor's office. Should, I never thought my. Yep. Hey everybody, keep up the good work. Hey, what are you thinking? Well, they are going to be my coworkers in three years from now. After all, no harm in saying hello. Actually, there is. You know, attorneys aren't supposed to be at a crime scene, right? I'm trying not to stand out too much Ooh, here, okay? Phoenix for right services are so cheap, and he's a fucking detective? That's crazy. I think this is Gumshoe. Dude, specs to go unnoticed here, no. partner. Oh, it's the cowboy. Partner. Partner. Yeah, partner. Country boys, go. What do we have here? It looks like a bambina's got loose from the ranch and is up to no good. Folks gotta learn to keep them doggies tied down, partner. McCree from Overwatch. Mr. Marshall. <laughs> I <laughs> oh, he's got a knife. He's got a weapon. It's him. He has a knife. Looks like a sheriff to me. Dude, Looky here, bambina. I know how you feel. But this is my gang's gold strike, see? Strike? This is our claim, our territory, with a mother load of evidence. If you if you're fixing to mess with with us uh, with what's ours, you'll regret it, partner. You know what dreams the cacti is out in the desert's dream you want to? What's with this guy? What is the fuck he's even talking about? You all head along home now. Happy trails, Bambina. Kai, do you have a cowboy accent? Do you want to do cowboy? You can do cowboy. Uh, no, that's all you, partner. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do country for shit. Was that Ombre your friend? Ombre! <laughs> Ombre. Um, kind of. He's a detective. Who thinks she? Who thinks he's a sheriff in the Wild West? It seems. Fun fact: Me and Diggy has done this about. I've done this four times or to three. Diggy's this is her second time in this case. I've... No, I. But you never finished it. Yeah, I don't remember. No. Whoa! I it's it. a wallet. Everything about it confuses me. What's this? A wallet? Well, excuse me, officer. Whoa! What are you doing, Mister Right? I'm returning it. I just found this wallet, so I'm handing it over to the police. Don't believe it. This is real basic. Anything at a crime scene is evidence. Let's be scientific about this, please. Put it in your pocket. <laughs> um, how is that scientific? That sounds like theft to me. The wallet is hastily stuffed and use into the my money. pocket. It's for science. <laughs> A call to duty already at my tender age. <laughs> Here, I'll teach you the trick to examining evidence in detail, okay? By the way, her eyes are sparkly. I can tell she's been waiting for this. Okay, okay, now. Look at the court record. This is, uh, well, new. You have to be sure to examine evidence carefully on all sides. Now look. Now, let's start examining from every angle. Whoa! Oh, look. I think there might be a clue here. You should check it out with a press of enter. Click. Whoa. Hey. This. This is an ID card? Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID 5842189. See? Well, isn't scientific investigation useful? I guess. Well, I don't know what's so scientific about it. That has to do with it. Yeah. Goodman's ID has been added to the court record. We stole with the Let's power of science. Let's be sure to examine every piece of evidence we find. I guess I gotta be on my toes from now on. 
Goodman. I can't read that. A name on the ID numbers are written down here. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID 584219. I wonder why they only use numbers for ID. What else would you use for it? Letters, silly. They're the reason we have a written language in the first place. Uh, uh, true. Sergeant Bruce Goodman, ID Y A B A. Yabadab! 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 See, wouldn't that be better? Yabadab. <laughs> Yabadab. Well, it does have a certain ring to it. Exactly my point. Tee. <laughs> Doesn't take too much to remove her. Tee. Was there nothing else in that wallet? No, we threw the wallet away. We stole but, his ID and threw but... everything else away. <laughs> the money. Yeah. For science. Look, a stylishly glass walled room. Very nice. You can see the whole parking lot from there. It says security. Perhaps it's a cafe. <laughs> What? Cafe <laughs> security. Yeah, that must be it. Let's check it out later. <laughs> I hate to break it to you, but I think that's probably the security guard office. Yo, you know, I scored a 97 on my science test the other day. It's too bad they don't have a test for compass. <laughs> Ooh. Here, phone. Let's see if it works. Hey, don't touch stuff. Uh, we, we don't need to be touching. I, I can't hear anything. My ears! No, my ears! Maybe it's due to the barometric pressure? <laughs> Bad one, though? Hey, nerd what shit. did you just say? Uh, uh, you see? You can hear it just fine. The phone is broken. Oh, it's, it's, step, it's, a, it's a step! It's yeah, a ladder, guys! A ladder. That's a... That's a... Um, that's, that's a ladder. I, I gotta go with Phoenix on that. That's a step ladder. No, that's a ladder. That one's actually just a ladder. What's Look how big it is. the difference in scientific terms, please? Scientific. Looking at the basic nature of things, Mr. Ryan. It seems so horribly familiar somehow. That's a step ladder, in my opinion. That's a ladder. That's a step ladder. I'm not having this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> not again. This is where the cars leave a lot. The air on the ground makes it look a lot more like an entrance. What are you talking about? It's plainly an exit. Uh, well, maybe it's both, kind of like a dual purpose. Are we really arguing semantics? Uh -huh. The theory yeah. of relativity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna fight with a 16 year old about how this is an entrance or an exit. I got this written down. Hey, hey, Mr. Wright. Oh my god. <laughs> no shot. Maybe you know, was Mr. Wright <laughs> German or was he German? <laughs> Who? Who cares? Are you sure that's what his name was? The door. She's not sweet. The door. I that like must her. mean something. <laughs> She's a pretty. She She's a great. She's a she's a great scientific investigator. No, it wouldn't open. Mysterious lock. I fail to see what's so mysterious about it. Mr. Wright, you need to learn to enjoy life. You're right. You're right. But let's finish our investigation first. Then maybe I'll reconsider that. Oh shit! Oh shit! It's a potty outline. Well. Time to waste, let's get on super clues. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Well, partner, looks like you got no intention of going home quietly. Why'd your voice change? Oh, it's the sheriff. Like I said before, this here's our claim. You best be mosing around unless you're fixing to bite the bullet. I can't pinpoint that accent, but I'm scared. <laughs> Did you tell us one thing? Who owns that car? Me. <laughs> well, well. The little filly's got a good nose on her. You want to know who rides that red Mustang with a body in her saddle, eh? 
please. No problem, partner. Time for the tittles, anyway. I don't know what the fuck I'm gonna Get yourself to the saloon up to the 12th floor of the prosecutor's office. Might just find a little crevasse you like. Prosecutor's office? Where does this guy think he is? And when, for that matter? Note to yourself, look up the tea saloon and service. <laughs> Maybe we should check out the room... One two zero two. The high, uh, the high prosecutor's office. In any case, stay away from the car. You can look around here all you like. And just keep your paws off our claim. I think you need to work on that accent, sir. But yeah, I'll do that. <laughs> Fine. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Maybe there's some clues around here, Mister. Let's check it out. Oh, I think this is Kai. Huh? Yes, Kai. Wake up. Hello? I took a bite. Oh, excuse me? You I can't mean, take a bite out You can't take a bite. Deliver, Kai. Yes, yes, you, you have can. You can deliver them. Okay, yes. Oh, you gotta, oh, just, oh, just say excuse oh, me. Oh, oh, oh. I, 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 you're good. There you I, go. I, I, oh, shit, it is me. <laughs> What's this? She couldn't be. You're selling lunches here? This is a crime scene! Mm. Oh. I, okay. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> half and half, was it? Oh, uh, thanks? What was that? And you, sir? Y yes. Oh! Some crunchy goodness coming at you. Looks pretty good. Thanks. Interesting way of doing business. This area is off limits to anyone without clearance. Especially passerby. Or are you officers? Uh, no, but you don't exactly look like type to have clearance. Oh, well, that's hardly a way to greet someone. Even if my days as the Kaffa Queen are over. Kaffa? Uh, huh? You know, I feel kind of full. Cool. Maybe I'll pass on. That's because she said Kaffa. <laughs> I'm quite connected to this case, you see. The images are burned into my eyes, you might say. Yes, all the sordid secrets. Secrets? Dear me, you are a slow one, aren't you? Damn, that's fucked up. I'm referring to the murder, the stabbing of that detective. What? Oh, you're the witness. A murder! Oh, a witness clearly saw me committing the crime. I murder. You mean you're the witness my sister was talking about? Please, cuff up, Queen. Tell us everything that happened. <laughs> <laughs> the name is Angel Star. Don't go. Don't you go forgetting it. Or before you know it, I'll have you whimpering at my heels. Oh my god. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 29. 31. Love okay. some men whimpering. She's almost our age, technically. <laughs> we love a good whimper. Yes, ma'am. Yeeps. Yikes. 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 She means it. Womp mm, womp. She's gonna... Dick it. She's gonna kill someone. <laughs> I don't trust her. She's Somehow, gonna... I knew. She's gonna bomb in one of those bentos. Yo. Yeah, that's where she has it. <laughs> Yesterday was a day of destiny. I knew something was going to happen. Just like I know that the daily special on Friday every week is seven. <laughs> I knew murder was gonna happen. I was planning it this week. <laughs> it's every Wednesday. Destiny was yesterday special for some reason. You're a defense attorney, right? You should know then. Mm. You should know the foul misdeeds of the evil ones who haunt this den of inequity. <laughs> <laughs> she starts morphing. <laughs> 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 Prosecutors, they have no qualms at all about blackening the name of innocence. And yesterday they paid homage to the evil one of all. They gave an award for king of prosecutors. I don't like how she used color to signify good and evil. Feels a little weird. 
punk art. <laughs> so you're so she's saying there was some sort of prosecutor's convention yesterday. Convention for prosecutors. <laughs> I was almost compelled to lace their lunches with something foul. They gather around and talk about they gather around and talk about all the fucked up practices they do. Yeah, pretty much. Do you have a personal grievance against prosecutors or something? Hell yeah. Or is this some kind of scientific evidence of this um, evil? Youngness. Mock me at your own risk. You'll soon find out why they call me the cop. <laughs> God, she just keeps. God, ew. ew. <laughs> yeah, she just keeps bringing it up. Like, yeah, we get the it. Most... We get it. <laughs> the most heinous of all the evil ones, the one they awarded yesterday. It was in his car that they found a body. <gasps> it was his car? Proof that he devours the evilest lunches of all. <laughs> what is she talking about? Lunch, really? Obviously. They ginger. ate him. They ate him. Really what? I'm totally confused. What are we even talking about? Just one thing's clear, this lunch lady has something against prosecutors. It's almost like they'll catch you for a crime or something. <laughs> so what exactly was it that you witnessed, Miss Star? It was a fascinating spectacle, to be sure. I now feel I know what they say when they talk about a woman's wrath. To see Lana's guy wield that knife so... Her knife flashed in anger, bringing him to a sad end. It was truly a sight to see. You mean you saw the very moment of the crime? The sound of his silvery ties to this world being cruelly cut still rings in my ears. And the rhythmic beat of Lana Sky's knife. The beat of her knife? <laughs> the Wait a second, beat. you know Lana Sky? Hmm, of course. It's quite a feat becoming chief prosecutor. How many lunchboxes of sin did she pack to make that journey, I wonder? <gasps> she always travels light. I don't think she got the joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, why would this pretty lunch lady know anything about the Uwadochi prosecutor? Ooh, pwitty! Pwitty! Ayo? Could you... Could we ask you a bit about yourself? No. Mrs. Star? I come here every day to sell lunches. That's it, just end the conversation. <laughs> I am poor, only the freshest and best from the Far East. <gasps> She's buying Asian Alabama. lunch boxes. <laughs> for Alabama. For some reason, yeah. the box lunches are a hit here. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, this place is in either Kansas or Kentucky, but in Japan, obviously, in, in the Japanese original, obviously Japan. Mm -hmm. Alabama, you said Why not probably. make the lunches here as an import though? Did you say something? Uh, no. I didn't think so. Only true connoisseurs can understand. The kind you can only tell someone who has tried general souls. I, 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 I would need a trilobite. That's nasty. Trilobites are crustaceans of the sea. I think they're like. They live in the bottom, I think. Like they're, they yeah, look like bottom, isopods. They, they yeah. Algae and stuff, yeah. Yeah, and they're like shell. They're really gross looking. They look like a Pokemon. Uh, never mind. You win. Uh, I don't even want to appreciate part of a Trilobite's flavor. Anyway, I come here every day to sell lunches. My boyfriend works in the security room here at the prosecutor's office. Your boyfriend? Her b -b 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 boyfriend. See the security room over there? At the glass walled booth? I saw my lunches, and since I'm here anyway, I drop in to see him. Since you're here, anyways, I guess selling lunches is more important than romance. I mean, she's oh, gotta yeah. be selling some good lunches to be dressing like so that. She's trying to typically analyze the data available so far. She'd be making money, probably. You, this star, are a lunch vendor with an ulter ulterior motive for coming here. Useful and, and not. Ooh, <laughs> fucking got him. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> did you have a bad experience with the prosecutor, Miss Star? You seem like you have a lot of built-up trauma. I sense yeah. some hostility. <laughs> hostility. Hostility? Ha. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> hostility? No, pulls out her knife. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> 
prosecutors are all alike, and the bigger they get, the worse they smell. Smell? Kind of like 10 day old clams in the chowder. Uh, that's pretty fucking nasty. Ew. I wonder if this star is involved in some sort of legal trouble in the past. Or if she left clam chowder out before. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be sure cause of food poisoning, scientifically speaking, of course. I mean, I now you're talking top of queen. Oh what God. a nerd. <laughs> I thought she was just a lunch vendor, but now I'm not so sure. Alright, well, if you don't mind. I'm okay, just gonna... I'm just gonna slide just over yeah. to the other side. Yeah, I'm just gonna look at this car. Oh, I can't slide to the other side. Oh. Okay. Never mind. I'm gonna leave. Oh, I guess it's time to go to the high prosecutor's. Whoa, what a room! I wonder whose room Ooh, this is. Bye. February 22, High Prosecutor's Office, room 1202. This kind of room just screams, I can do the job. Quite a change from your office, really. Okay, well, no one asked for your opinion. <laughs> look, look, there's a trophy or something here. A trophy? What? Uh, that's a shield. It takes real nerve to display something like this. Whoever the office is, is, they must be really stuck up here. Uh, is this Yukai or me? This is Miles, obviously. So are you going to be uh, Miles? If you're Miles, it's uh, a big role. That means right. you're going to be fighting in the court case. You're going to be an asshole. You're going to be... I'm a, ready. A that's you're going to be a me. pretty boy with pent-up emotions. Oh, uh, that's, that's perfect. All, all right, right, let's go. All right, let's, all right, Phoenix Wright. You never tire of prying into other people's business, do you? That voice. Objection. Long time no see, Edgeworth. Ooh. Aww. Ah. Mr. Edgeworth. You know him from somewhere? Of course. I'm his biggest fan. Oh, oh my no. god, fan my boy. Sister fan girl. Once in. Right, her sister is the chief prosecutor after all. Well, what brings you here? I'll warn you, I've been known to be a real stuck-up jerk. <gasps> no, did I? No! Ooh. I was just Ooh. Mr. Ray. He... <laughs> hey, don't play- You are, kind of, actually. We're just here to investigate a murder case. Murder? A body was found in this nasty, bright red sports car in the parking lot. <laughs> Look at his car. <laughs> hmm. no. That would be my car. What of it? Damn. Uh, your car? Damn. <laughs> certainly, <laughs> certainly can't scream. Look, these characters are made for you. <laughs> <laughs> so the body was found in your car. Can I help you, Diggy? <laughs> Go ahead, say it right. I think I did it, did it, don't you? What? After you went through all that trouble to help me last year, no less. Exactly, so what? No, no, no we don't think you did it. I mean, it was my sister who stabbed him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, no, no, she didn't oh, do that. Ooh, I mean, ooh, well, wait. So you're the chief prosecutor's little sister, then? Yes, sir. Emma Sky. It, uh, it's nice to meet you again. No, that didn't sound forced at all. Ah, now I remember. You've really grown. I'll admit, it was a surprise for me, too. To think that my own car would become the scene of a murder. More surprising still. Like, I just wanted to get my donuts over at Dunkin' Donuts. <laughs> I'm being forced to prove my superior's guilt. I can understand. Wait, what, what did you say? Lana Sky is the chief prosecutor. The top prosecutor in the district. I'm dog. She can't prosecute herself, so I'll be the prosecutor at the trial tomorrow. You, Mr. Edgeworth? 
Oof. Why? To be honest, it's a bit of a miracle I'm still here at all. What do you mean? Rumors. Rumors. You've heard the rumors about me, haven't you? They're saying I like Pretend men. Pretend like I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, no one knew that. Miles ah. Edgeworth. <laughs> the man lover. The sausage finger man. <laughs> the man with it's a bonnet. It's hard to remember the time when there weren't rumors about this guy. The man with a tragic past who has... Forging evidence, arranging false testimonies, illegal searches, you name it. Missing his pants during an earthquake. Boys. Mm. Hell Missing yeah. boys. Murdering Hell people yeah. with a gun. We love a boy kisser. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, Jake. <laughs> Thanks to you, my innocence was established in the Hi, child in the last year. Ten out of ten kisser. <laughs> so I've heard. <laughs> However, there is some who say I'm the one responsible for the current incident. What? That's crazy. Hmm. Some people need very little excuse to think ill of others. It's a fact of life. Possible to stop. But some of them even go as far to present me with toys like this. I think it's funny. Toys? That bronze shield? There's gotta be a story behind that one. Chief Prosecutor Sky. Yes, we first worked together on a case two years ago. It was my first case. That's right, you remember. Two years ago. I wasn't even a lawyer yet. Since then, I always felt that she was looking out for me. Aww. It appears I was mistaken. Oh, Mis Mistaken? Why? I mean, I know she's not the warmest person. But I'm sure she felt somewhat responsible for you. Then, why? Why did she stab someone in the trunk of my car? Not only that... She stabbed him with mine. It's his color. <laughs> <laughs> he stabbed him with my Louis Vuitton custom made <laughs> pairing knife for all when I eat all the fruits. Yep. What? Hey, Jedward, your knife was a murder weapon? Why do you have a knife that matches your suit? <laughs> <laughs> to be specific, it was a knife I keep in the toolbox in the trunk of my car. I keep it in my Louis Vuitton bag. <laughs> That's custom a made, Louis Vuitton custom toolbox. tailored with his own color pigment to match my office. Oh, that's like a stabbing that's knife nice. too. Like you're not going camping. Like that's that's like for self defense. That's, that's a survival knife. That? Um, Edgeworth. What? Are you sure you didn't do it? <laughs> what? Hmm. Come on. You can't take a joke. Ooh. You have a strange sense of humor, Mr. Ray. He pulled out a gun. He's like, did I do it or not, Phoenix? Tell me. Pulls out his bloody knife. I'll stab you just like I stabbed that man in the back of my car. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's a knife. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa. Oh. Whoa. This must be the victim's blood, right? We have this Either that thing. or Edward cut himself peeling an apple. <laughs> <laughs> What's Edward doing with a knife like this anyways? Hey, maybe he spends his weekends roughing it up in the wild. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. This what this knife is insane. <laughs> Edward's in the wild. I think my peel, peel fruit peeling theory is more likely. I got this foot knife for when I entered the, the show naked and afraid. <laughs> Are you kidding me? that episode always right now. him as an outdoorsy man. <laughs> now there's a scary thought. Going around playing vigilante. Him touching grass. <laughs> it's just unnatural. Well, at least for him. Look at him, he's got a steel samurai thing back there. <laughs> Wait, can we look at it? My, my, my. What an amazing bouquet. <laughs> just right... For Mr. Edgeworth. No kidding. There's a card on it, too. Oh, back from the dead. Wendy. Do we know? Oh, Wendy I know. Wendy old bag. Yeah, like... <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> back from the dead. Wendy, I've heard that name somewhere before. And beside it, a giant steel samurai. 
Wow, I want one. Huh? There's something written on the bottom of his foot. Between the rocks and hard place. Wendy. Wendy, is this? Is she Mr. Edward's fiance? That's impossible. My name's <laughs> Flashback. <laughs> Flashback. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> A work desk. It's quite tidy, as one might expect. What a nice desk! Easy to use and easy on the eyes. It's polished so well I can see my own reflection. You were just talking so much shit about this room before you knew it was Edgeworth. <laughs> Strange. Why did I picture Detective Gumshoe? Maybe I'll take that name plaque as a souvenir. <laughs> Don't. He'll sue you. He'll sue a child. A 16. Ooh, cute! What a pretty tea set! Uh, I go more of an instant tea bag myself. Amazing! The drawer below is filled with packets of <laughs> He's tea. literally just standing there and we're just rummaging through his drawers. I'm They're sure all sorted by place of origin and flavor. Look at this royal blend! What an exquisitely splendid concoction. There's such a thing as taking a hobby too far. He's cute, my tea. Ooh, these are all file case files. They're stacked up to the ceiling. There's even a ladder. Odd. I thought Ezra wasn't the wasn't good with heights. He must have someone get them for him. Aww. <laughs> His little assistant gum. Shoes. He's such a baby girl. <laughs> <laughs> It's taken care of. Strange. Why do I have a picture of Jim Gumshoe? You must study these case reports so close. He's so cool. He is so cool. <laughs> Why wouldn't you say that if you saw him sweating bullets up on the ladder? You wouldn't say that. Mm -hmm. so, so, you wouldn't so say that if you saw him crying. He's a, you know, he's a hard ass, but he loves center. steel samurai and even collects figurines and loves royalty and plays chess while also being afraid hey, of fights. Hey, a chess board. I'm not too up on my chess game, but it looks like blue is a bit of a tight spot. The red knights having surrounded the blue. Huh? Those horses are, are mounted knights. Their swords have really sharp edges. Edges. And check out that poor pawn. His head is kind of spiky. Kind of reminds me of you. <gasps> oh. <gasps> oh. Mr. Wait, Edgers I must see. be an added chess player. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Edge sword surrounding a pond with spiky hair. No, it's nothing. It's a metaphor. <laughs> wow, this jacket is even lacier than his usual one. This must be his lucky trial jacket. Lucky trial? Right. I've never seen him wear this. I'm sure there's a story behind why it's in a frame. Maybe I'll be naughty and take a picture. She's getting way too excited about this. <laughs> oh, so naughty. Ooh. Take more pictures. Ooh. Ooh. It's still salmon. I've been wondering, what the heck is this? It has a big K on it. For killer! <laughs> I'm broke. Prosecutors. Huh? What was that? It's the king of prosecutors. <laughs> Oof. And I award you King Salesman of Best Buy. <laughs> it's like, alright. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about that. King of Prosecutors? King. It's a great honor. They send that shield to the best prosecutor each year. What? So. Oh, that's so you. That I K. said your <laughs> That K, that's a. K stands for <laughs> King? Yeah, you got a problem with that? I didn't design the thing. King of prosecutors. Kind of like employee of the month, only better. <laughs> King of the month. It's got that it's got that King team rocket font month. on it that makes it really tacky. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah, and at the police pocket. department is at the day of the murder. Are you can examine it again? Yeah, check everything oh, in this see. game. Yeah, because this is technically this one. This specifically came out when the third Ace Attorney was out, and this is when they introduced the new investigation system, where you get to examine the stuff. Hey, check it out! There's a metal plate here. 
Uh, it looks like it's the name of all the previous recipients are engraved on it. Wow, one guy listed a bunch of times. Oof. Juan Karma, I guess he must be a <laughs> Yeah, uh, that's probably. Good. This is my reward. I will get it every year. <laughs> and then he <laughs> then he went to jail for murder. Then he burned up in the sun. Well, wherever he's from, he must have been an amazing person. <laughs> I like to meet this Mr. Von Karma sometime. And she says that his name does does kind of have a. Phoenix <laughs> literally a short term memory, long term memory loss. Is he okay? Is Phoenix okay? <laughs> no. It looks that oh, little hand. So it looks very, um, It's Mega the whole... It's green. It, are, we, are we done talking yet? Yep. Do we present yeah, I had to him? present the trophy, oh. yeah. So basically, this says that you were the best of the best last year, huh? Must be because I took the year off, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you could take that foolish grin somewhere else, right? I lost a day of work to receive that travesty. Huh? Why is that? I had to go to the police department to receive that broken shield. The police department? Yes, right next to the police station downtown. Been there. You've been there, haven't you? Where Detective Gumshoe works. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm, I wonder where, where. I was wondering something about your shield. Why is it broken? What does it matter? I've got more important things to worry about. Oh, right. He doesn't seem too concerned about his ward, for better or for worse. Yesterday was a very busy day for the prosecutor's office. Maybe we should ask him more about yesterday? About yesterday. Could you tell me more about yesterday, the day of the murder? <laughs> yesterday was the annual cleaning day at the prosecutor's office. Huh? Cleaning day? Working with the police department, we sort, file all evidence for solved cases. Call it evidence transferable. Wiping your hands with old cases is another thing. Oh, and another thing. Ceremony was held at the police department. It's an annual review and awards for outstanding police officers and prosecutors. And that's when you got the shield? Was that the police department yesterday afternoon? I got back here at 5.12. But the murder happened at 5.13! Whoa! <gasps> That's very precise. People like myself and Mr. Edge pride ourselves on our precision. I'm not, a per I'm not a precision person. I am. Uh, no, I place a little faith in my memory. The only thing I trust is solid evidence. Oh. We're no parking in the prosecutor's office lot. Entered at 512. This is the parking stub from the underground murder took place around 5.15, which means it took place so the murder happened minutes. right after you got back? What, right? I'd appreciate if you direct that suspicious glare elsewhere. Uh. <laughs> uh excuse me, uh, this, this is Mr. Edgeworth, uh, is anywhere on the premise? I'm Edgeworth, what is it? Uh, I'm here, sir, at the request of the chief, sir. I've uh, got your report, sir. Report? What? Did you find a new evidence in the case against Chief Prosecutor Sky? I don't like the way this conversation is going at all. Uh, uh Sky, sir? Uh, no! No, 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 no name of that kind, sir. Uh, none of this report, sir. Hmm. I think I just heard... Edward's bright, uh, lid for blow? Edward's lid blow? He's dead. Mr. Edward's <laughs> lid isn't on very tight, is it? I made a clear request to the police department, did I not? I need to focus on the trial tomorrow, so don't bring me anything unrelated. Uh, sir, but, but sir, I'm just following orders, sir. They just told me to bring this to you. 
I wasn't aware of the particulars of your... Oh, give me your name. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, yes. Uh, Meekins, sir. Uh, Officer Meekins. Right. Officer Meekins, take your report and leave. And good luck with that raise next month. Oh, oh, uh, oh, 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 but oh. sir, I didn't know. Oh, God. looks like he was absent on the day they gave up brains and good luck. Oh, that's so sad. Yeah, here, you dork right. loser. Oh yeah, God, he caught me off guard. As you can see, I'm busy. May leave now. Let's do what he says, Mr. Wright. The victim was a detective from the same department as the patrol man just now. Go down to the police department. You can ask more there. Uh, thanks. Didn't have finally calmed down, at least. Wow. Looks like something's bothering him, jeez. Yeah. Oh, oh, Leslie. It's him! It's the Blue Badger! It's the one everyone kept talking Badger. about! He's here! He's finally relevant! Please department entrance. We're at the entrance. Woof, we're finally here. Fun fact, uh, Phoenix bikes around everywhere. And I think the person sits in the back when he bikes. He doesn't have a car. Why would they put the police department so far away from the prosecutor's office? Beats me. It took almost 30 minutes by taxi. Larry, uh, he took a taxi. Mind. And taxi. the traffic wasn't even that bad. It wasn't even that bad. Huh? I've only ever been to the criminal affairs next door. Hmm? Hold on, what's that? It's the blue, da, 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 da. I hate the blue badger. I hate it. Derby. Why does it uh, undulate like that? Oh, wait, I know. This is the blue badger. They're trying to make him the police mascot. Oh, Mr. Wright, you sure know a lot about the police. Still, he does seem somewhat familiar. Forget the blue badger. Who's that next to him? Someone appears to be dancing with the <laughs> blue badger? Me too. Uh oh, he noticed me. Oh, he sure he sure is running over here fast. Hey, oh. Bow! What you're doing here? That's my line, Detective Gumshoe. Specifically, why were you dancing over there? Oh, oh why? Oh, well, 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 me. Well, at least he doesn't seem to be busy. This is our chance to get information. Hey, after oh, you now, I'm a very busy man, pal. <laughs> oh, bah, bah, bah. I'll give you one word of advice, pal. Yeah, best not agree to defend the suspect in this case. You go to this every oh, time. Why not? Huh? Well, it's just that the chief prosecutor has confessed the crime. She says she summoned the detective to the prosecutor's office and, well, she she killed him. But, but what if she's not telling the truth? Oh, uh, yes. Well, no. Come on, pal. There's plenty of evidence against her. But what if the evidence was fake? Hey, right, pal, can I speak to you for a second? Huh? Me? Yeah, why is this little girl so peeved at me? You know, fuck the police and all that. She's a relative of the suspect. Lana Whoa, Jack. you mean she's woke? The chief prosecutor's little <laughs> sister. Just please investigate this case carefully, okay? Scientifically. Oh, yeah, sure. Oh, by the way, uh, you might want to keep your voices down. You don't want to be overheard using words like fake. Huh? It's just, it's a, it's a sensitive issue these days with us. So, what are you doing here, Detective Gumshoe? Uh, me? Well, I was just dancing with the blue badger, but nothing really. They, uh, <laughs> they kicked me out of criminal affairs. Detective Gumshoe, what did you do this time? What do you mean this time? Then what happened? I know things are busy right now. I mean, with my sister's case and all. Well, it's true. We've never had the chief prosecutor murder anyone before. Only the highest ranked people are being led to the criminal affairs right now. And the lowest ranking guy in our is in our chief of detectives. 
They're not letting any of us rank and file detectives in at all. None of you? I know this is an important trial, but isn't this all a little odd? So anyways, I thought I'd spend the day getting the badger dance down, Pat. <laughs> isn't there anything else you could do be doing? Well, the chief of police himself is directing this investigation, pal. And Officer Marshall was assigned to the underground parking lot. This? Officer Marshall? Now that I think about it, Emma did know that Marshall guy. A patrolman is in charge of a crime scene. It's unheard of, pal. Mm. Okay, show him something. Hey, check this out. Hey, that shit! That's the king of prosecutor wars that Mr. Edwards got yesterday. I stole it from him. Oh, hey, Ari. Oh, Were you God. at the award ceremony, Detective Gumshoe? Thank you, Ari. Thank you for the lurking. Yeah, of course, pal. I got an award for diligence myself. Oh, congratulations! It, they say they call me the dog, the D W A G. <laughs> I was wondering why is the word word a shield? And why because is it broken? Please, because please oh. defend people. Yeah, Go there's on. a reason. Um yeah, yeah, I'll tell you what it is later. <laughs> Apparently he's forgotten. Ah, but I was a proud as Mr. for winning that award. Even with all the naysayers in the prosecutor's office. Because of all the rumors. And all those non-awoke people. Hey, I found this in Mr. Edwards' car, stabbed with Mr. Edwards' knife, huh? What would drive Chief Prosecutor Sky to do such a thing? Maybe she needed a sneakers. Oh, I, I, I mean, sure, of course, someone else really did it. Someone must have. Mm, eh, someone who must have grudge against Mr. Edwards, yeah. Car and the knife do seem to be a little too well organized to be a coincidence. Poor Mr. Edgeworth, what could have happened? You had to find out a little bit more about what's going on with Edgeworth. Uh, hey, check out this <laughs> sweet <laughs> knife! <laughs> oh, yeah, same thing. Okay. <laughs> it pulls out the, the oh, actual the weapon. Ooh. Object of Gumshoe, what can you tell me about this? Huh? Hey, pal, this is a detective's ID card. You can't just keep that. You have to turn it into the police. It's people like you that get me into so much trouble all the time. Meaning, Detective Gumshoe must have dropped his card along. Hmm, let's see. Bruce Goodman. 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 Hmm, sounds familiar. It's not. It's my mistake. Hmm, but didn't you work in the criminal unit? Oh my god, now I remember! Bruce Goodman! He's the victim! Oh! Well, that's what I thought. Can you tell us more, Detective Gumshoe? Hey, Happy. Happy! Oh, Bruce Goodman. So, this ID card belongs to the victim? Yeah, he was a detective, like myself. Detective Bruce Goodman. Don't you think it's strange? I mean, why would the victim's ID card be lying on the ground where we found it? Yeah. Well, Detective Goodman should have been at the police department yesterday. There was an evidence transfer for the case he handled two years ago. Evidence transfer. Mr. Edwards mentioned that too. But Detective Goodman was killed at the prosecutor's office. Well, that's the thing. It's hard to say this, but... Or does that Chief Prosecutor Sky call them out there to the parking lot? And Lana's confessing. Oh, yeah, it's been a while, but... I don't know if you guys remember the trailer, but... It showed, like, a murder scene happening. But it showed two murder scenes happening in two different places at the same time. Yeah, that's what that I was, remember. That was the intro, I that's right. I remember that from a year ago, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I forget. I thought I should have mentioned that. That's the the theme of this case that we're gonna break break down. Yeah, he was in a tough spot again. Again? 
Yeah, I can. Bang. Sploosh. Sploosh. He's just going for a swim. Well, I'll start with that defense of that... The murder of that defense attorney, Hamon. You know, that guy oh, from Overwatch. Ring of hell. But Mr. Edgeworth was found innocent. Listen, Pa, there's always been rumors about Mr. Ashworth. Forging evidence, making deals with the witnesses, kissing the pro the defense attorney. Nothing no, outright, right, but there's no, no always there's always whispered rumors. I've heard him say it in his room to himself. It's he But does. ever since he was accused of murder, no one's whispering. They're practically shouting that he kissed boys in his office. Well, there's no evidence against Specifically him. defense no defense evidence. attorneys. <laughs> <laughs> There's no evidence. <laughs> Mr. Edward has always been unusually strong ties to the department higher up. It's only natural that people would be suspicious. I have no idea he was, a, he was under the gun. Anyways, this latest case is a shire or no rumor. People say the only reason he took on this case is because he's aiming for the chief prosecutor's position himself. What? But I know the truth, pal. Nobody wants to be the one who has to prosecute the chief prosecutor. Ashworth is biting the bullet for this one. He's doing this all for us. Okay, well. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now. All right. Keep up with your dance. <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, uh, all right. Yeah, we should examine this guy. Uh, I was wondering about that. Huh? The dancing blue badger? It's my masterpiece. Oh, I made it. I like it to dance, guys. You made this? It's like a gumshoe. The chief threw together some designs. I just did my thing, pal. What a nice work. It's your battery power, so it can go anywhere. Oh, did you see that? Hmm. There's no switch, so it's just dance, dance, dance until the battery dies. Poor blue badger faded to dance until he drops. The blue badger added to the core panel. Um, no. Oh. And that's all I know about that. It's not officially on the case, you know. Thank you. Why aren't you handling the case, Dr. Gumshoe? We met the guy who is. Uh, what was his name? The guy in the parking lot? That'd be Officer Jake Marshall. Oh, wait. You guys don't- Well, I mean, yeah, his name's Jake. Whoa, <laughs> you spoil it. It's in the court record! It's in the court record! Ooh, it's my badge. Whoa, it's my it's my ID badge. It's it's at the court it's regular extreme. record uh, profiles. Oh god, he's not even on here. Fine. Wow. You shall point it directly by wow. a chief wow. portion. Wow. Wow. We don't know his name. Is he some kind of Wild West sheriff or something? Oh, there it is. No, Jake Marshall's just a regular officer from West LA. Yo, he's from LA. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Not even from <laughs> so Texas. He's a poser? Yeah, I suppose there is. Oh, there. I wasn't what a sure. nerd. Look, pal. Let me just try to make things easier for you. Show them this and I'll let you examine the crime scene, maybe. Hey, letter of introduction. Nice. He's a nerd. I'll be surprised if this gets us anywhere. Always a just act like you're supposed to be there. Nobody will look at you twice. <laughs> you go and then you flash the, the, the paper and they're like, uh, yeah, let's, put, let's get this guy in jail. <laughs> just flash at this RP. <laughs> <laughs> Look, the patrol men saluting the other guy must be a detective. And then detective. I said, hey, do you, you, hey, you do that. Your soup will get cold, buddy. That's hilarious, sir. I laughed so hard, I cried. All I guess right. he wasn't saluting. He was wiping tears from his eyes. Sure. They make a good pair. <gasps> they yeah, just, good they just start kissing. kissing. <laughs> 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 great, great kissing oh. action. They got a lot of, a lot of officers in kissing action here. The detectives in there are pretty busy. Yeah, busy kissing. Just imagine oh <laughs> right now. Behind those doors, doors. kissing action. action. <laughs> Police kissing drama in action. What a fantastic yeah. romantic I tale. I don't want to imagine okay. it. Oh. Somehow the thought fails to excite me. <laughs> Oh. Nah, that's all I imagine in there. Oh, whoops. My bad. Yeah, look, there's a handprint yeah, on it. You see it? You see that right oh, there? The handprint? handprint? There's a handprint, oh, dude. Do. You know what that means? Gumshoe. <laughs> it, it means, means nothing. A mark on his little eyebrow. Maybe. Oh, whoops. It means nothing. It means you're Okay, bye, Gumshoe. Bye, Gumshoe. 
I mean, it's you kiss boys. I don't know. You got me. <laughs> you got me. <laughs> got him. Oh no, you got Looks like me. the investigation is still going. I have to be uh, getting back to the shop. Sorry, it looks like I'll be stuck in this pit till the sun sleeps. I don't know who this is. I see you in my dreams. Oh, that's you, Kai. Oh, it's the boyfriend. No, I I'll see you in my dreams tonight then, baby. Uh, Talk to my her. boyfriend. Ah, uh, still here? Uh, I was kissing hello. boys. Why the surprise looks? Didn't I mention? I've got a boyfriend in criminal affairs too. Whoa, she's got two boyfriends? Uh, hey, Damn, no, I'm dude. A I'm You're Riz a player, Lord. Riz Lord. I don't know how you can. How you risen with that octopus necklace ass looking ass, rice ball <laughs> hat, stupid lunchbox <laughs> filled up basket whoa, whoa, ass. Whoa. With the low of the octopus That's layer. their type. Hey, hey, what's wrong? Oh, wait, hold on. LA, fake Texan accent. How does that go? Larry just uh, uh, cold, hey. cold Cassidy. What cold do you mean? Hey, what's yeah. wrong, Bambina? You're looking like a doggy that's lost its herd. What are you drinking on the Have job? you ever played Overwatch? <laughs> <laughs> Strange guy to put in charge of his crime. Yeah, I'm a Genji maid. <laughs> it's not even. <laughs> <laughs> It's hard. There's something I wanted to ask you. The scene of the crime. A gold grave for men who's lost their dreams. And me? I watch over them as they sleep, dreaming of a desert's harsh judgment. A uh, desert's harsh judgment. He's asleep. What? Well, should we show this hopeless, ca uh, this hopeless case something? Okay, I would, you know, That's I know I'm not a very fast reader, but you didn't have to do that. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Suck on this! Would you mind reading this for me? What's this? I, I warn you. Fan letters to go to me go right into the spittoon. It's a letter of introduction from uh, Detective Gumshoe. May we investigate? Mm, Gumshoe. That old cow dog? Mm, let's see what it says. He's holding a birthday party or something. Pulls it out just says, <laughs> This is Edgeworth's boyfriend. Let him investigate. <laughs> I'm Edward's boy. I mean, not the. Uh. <laughs> hmm. Look, where it should say letters of introduction, it says invitation. Uh, I think he's just miswrote it. Wait, why am I getting all defensive here? Eh, no worries. This proves it's from Detective Gumshoe. Better than a blood test. Guess I better let you in then. Thank you, Officer Marshall. Oh, that's right. He's a patrolman, not a detective. Pretty He's just a police officer. He reminds me. <laughs> hey, wait a second. Isn't a crime scene supposed to be handled by a detective or a fire? Well, folks, the clues are calling. Welcome to our gold strike. And be like the seller. Strike out for lands unknown. Manifest destiny. Let's have a hoot nanny. All right. Note to self, police investigations are like settling land. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you say? I say I won't be needing this anymore. No, the boyfriend contract! <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. Oh, Officer Marshall, could you tell us more about the victim? No. <laughs> Good men always die young. Remember that, partner. Uh, could you be a little bit more specific? Bruce Goodman. He was a detective, right? Well, well, aren't you a faster dog in there now? Detective Goodman was stabbed here at 5.15. The smiling Madonna told me the tale. I think he means the witness, Miss Angel Star. One stab to the chest. A fine piece of work. This here's the autopsy report. Oh, an autopsy! Yeah! Dude, death due to loss of blood. One knife wound. Died within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. <gasps> that means he was stabbed way before 5.15. Within an hour and a half of 4 p.m. Whoa. Wow. Was my sister involved with the victim in any way? <laughs> Romantically? I'm just kidding. <laughs> Funny you should mention that, Bambina. She prosecuted Sky and Detective Goodman. Had nothing in common at all. Nothing in common? 
You sure? She was yeah, hungry. she was a woman. He was a man. <laughs> She was a prosecutor. He was a detective. He, wa he wanted to watch Oppenheimer. She wanted to watch, to watch Barbie. Barbie. <laughs> he wore suits and ties. She wore summer dresses and tight skirts. They apparently I worked like together. Very... <laughs> <laughs> he's like he's from LA, but he's like very south, you know. <laughs> they apparently were. They apparently worked together on a few cases years back. Uh, so there's motive. No motive. Goodman wasn't particularly a gifted detective. There's one reason why he didn't do much work with the chief prospector. So my sister called the victim here on the on the day of the murder, right? Here in this parking lot. So it seems like calling an unmanned, unarmed man to a shooting at high noon. Oh, I don't mean any offense, but. Officer Marshall, you're a patrolman, right? Not a detective? Like, I am. Like high school during part-time, giving kids the shakedown? And at a Best Buy at a front desk. <laughs> and I'm offended. Pulls out a gun. You calling me out? They shoot you for that in Texas. No, you're not. Huh? I was one of them fancy shoe detectives till two years ago, to tell you the truth. Oh, really? Now he tells me. But you're a patrolman now, so how can you be in charge of a crime scene? Nothing gets by you, does it, Bambina? So why are you in charge? No reason. We're just short on hands right now. I'm keeping an eye out in the meantime. That's mm -hmm. odd, though. Detective Gumshoe was saying he had nothing to do, like, nothing important at least. He's nothing but a sad old cow dog that can't find his tail. Maybe it's better he runs with that Edgeworth. Edgeworth? That cow dog's been kicking out of this cattle run by order of the chief police. Just, he doesn't realize it yet. Detective Gumshoe kicked out of an investigation? No, not Gumshoe. Like he's a detective. Oh, wait, we can examine the car Almost now. Almost like since... they think he's an idiot or something. Okay. Ooh, nice car. Damn. Oh, what's wrong by She said it's my car. Yeah, it's my nice. car. I drive Do you it. like my car? <clears throat> Don't touch it. This it's, appears to be a car where the new. body was found. It looks like the lock on the trunk is busted. Oh, the crime took place in the underground parking lot at the prosecutor's office. The body was found in the trunk of my subordinate's car. Why is a luxury car? It just screams, I have money to burn. Hell yeah, yeah. dude. Prosecutors get the big bucks. Damn, Phoenix's boyfriend is pretty rich. Yeah, I'm the sugar daddy. What's this? Looks like a note of some sort. Look, Not something's very written one. on it. Mm. Oh, I was just trying to read it. Uh, you're right. Let's see. <laughs> Six, seven, S, twelve, two. There is a name printed on the paper above that. Goodman. Maybe it fell out of his pocket when he was killed. Well, so does that mean Mr. Wright? What does that mean? How am I supposed to know? <laughs> Note to self, for deductive reasoning, go to Edgeworth, not right. Okay, well, I'm sure Edgeworth wouldn't know either, so, uh. Good mid note, add it to the court record. Uh, is there anything else? The is slump the body. <laughs> this rope, is it? Yep, yeah, they laid an outline of the victim's body. So, wait. The victim must have died when the killer closed the trunk on him. <laughs> what? The knife was attached to the door. She <laughs> laid the victim down and then closed the door. It's yes. <laughs> Leaving no the only person. <laughs> That's know, why there's no come to that conclusion. What the hell? <laughs> this looks like a cell phone. Oh, it's not a voice recorder. Scientific analysis would suggest this belonged to the victim. A flip phone oh, diggy. I think this game took place like 2004. 
I can't think of anyone else it could belong to. That's so scientific about that. Should we check it? Check it. Nah. Okay, yeah, you're right. Oh, let's check it out. Uh, that's not me. <laughs> Being very oh. epic. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. I wonder what brand this is, dog. Probably a, no a Nikon. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm, this one's still on a retail screen. Redial? <sighs> uh, Mr. Wright? Most will have to keep a record of all the calls you made and received. You just press the blue button to display the last number you called. Convenient, isn't it? I'm surprised you didn't know about it. Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't even know what a redial is. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just, you know, with people from your generation. <laughs> Whatever, let's check the phone. <laughs> he's fucking a bad, he's, he's pissed. What a bitch. It's like a kid telling you, I don't know if you know what Valorant is, but Jet's like the best age. <laughs> uh -huh. uh, yeah, Rain is the meta. The... God. I believe in it. Self, a defense attorney doesn't think first, he just pushes the button. Okay. Beep, 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 beep. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Hey, shut the hell up, I can't hear the tone. Hey, oh. Oh, I know that song. Is it still Samurai? It is. Hey, it was going on there. It is still Samurai, yeah. Beep. Beep. Oh, I'm sorry. I see you, partner. You pressed that redial on that phone there, didn't you? Uh, well, yeah. Whose phone is this anyway? It's on the ground over there. Whose is it? It belongs to the chief prospector, Sky. Oh. What? It's my sister's? She apparently dropped it when she was taken into custody right after the crime. Look, the last call was made right when the murder occurred. Looks like she was just fixing. She was fixing to call someone. Except she only spoke for a few seconds according to this. What did she call? Your wow. mom. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> partner. No idea. Now I got a question for you, partner. I heard a ring, a phone ring just now. One of those new fango ringtones. Oh, that. Oh, I'm sorry. That was my phone. What? What? Your phone? Yeah, it's kind of strange, but... Someone called me right when we picked up the other person's phone. It was, it was, a, it was a wrong number. I hey. hope you're not lying. They shoot you for that in Texas, partner. What you know? Uh, I've incited the wrath of the Lone Star Patrolman. You're done, son. Probably Wait, a lot so of sky. Last oh, call made at 518 on the day of the murder. You just well, said it was. let's ex examine it. I don't know. Well, maybe Phoenix wasn't lying. But it's weird because the Steel Samurai ringtone is Phoenix's. Yeah. Probably no, again. but like. <clears throat> call me again. Call me again. No, push it again. I need to push the button again. What's wrong? You look like like I do during finals. Never mind, it's nothing. I don't want to think about finals. Jeez. Uh, finals. I thought about school in a long time. Mm. Put that right back in our pocket. B block. It's through. Oh yeah, look, it says right there. That's where the visitors park. I can see the Lunchland car over there, far in the distance. Hey, you're right. I like the cute design on the door. I can see a cartoon cow munching down on some juicy looking steak. That's kind of fucked, actually. Wait. Wait. <laughs> I didn't that strike you as a little creepy? There's nothing wrong with cannibalism, so long as you do it ethically. Just don't think too deeply about it, and you'll be fine. Yep, human meat's the only meat that can be considered vegan. Anyways, let's read this one. A block. A block. The area <laughs> is reserved. <laughs> a block. <laughs> the a block. <laughs> yeah, it's a block, Cloudy. Duh. <laughs> a block. <laughs> I dream of a day when I'm able to park my car here. Aww. 
I'll, buy, I'll go over to the B block to buy my hamburgers from you, Mr. Ray. Whoo! Well, I'm not planning on giving up on my job that soon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, little lady, calm the fuck down. Slide to the left. When I'm a big attorney, I'll be sure to buy oh. stuff for me for scrap. An old oil barrel looks like it's filled with water. I'll be sure to give you. It's a heavy. Spare it change. budget. The drum over here is on his side. Wait, I know. I'll hide in there and do a stakeout. You think you'll be able to? Uh, you, 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 you know. I think you'll probably get arrested. In fact, you may even have to hide inside the drum to get arrested. Did I read that right? What? Well, I'm not suspicious. You're okay. Wait, the security sign. Can we look up? No, oh. no, it's the highest. Guess we gotta present Do stuff? What if he takes the phone away? My sister's cell phone. I don't think he'll take it away. <laughs> He's just Sorry. a patrol man. Yeah. Oh, the last time it was used was 518, right after Goodman was killed. Maybe she was canceling her date for it tonight? Yeah, me. Why did Lana make that call? Oh. Huh. All right, compadre, count to three. Huh? Uh, it's probably one of those. Yeah. You gotta do that if you're gonna draw evidence on someone. That's what we do in Texas. We're not in Texas right now, okay? We're not in fucking Texas. Remind me to never visit Texas. I oh. cue you we weren't. Wound was caused by a 4.5 inch knife. A single stab wound was found. Cause of death, loss of blood, chest wound, yeah. De time of death between February 21, 4 to 5.30. 68, 38, Bruce Goodman. Uh, maybe we should ask him about the parking stub. Oh! 5, 5, 5, 12 p.m. The prosecutor's bright red steel came in in a trot. Slow, real slow like. A trot? My Madonna tells me the crime occurred three minutes later. So it seemed that the tree prosecutor was lying in wait. Maybe waiting for her prince to ride in on his bright red horse. So what you mean is... The killer intended to use Edward Carl along. I don't... Wait. Maybe there's more conversation? Oh, there is. Oh. So there's no connection between Detective Goodman and my sister. That's correct. But there's a gold mine of evidence against her. Huh? And the prospect of tomorrow was none other than Edgeworth himself. I'm afraid your old sister's afraid is decided, Bambina. Many condolences. Officer Marshall. Yeah, Bambina. How can you say that? It's so rude. Mm -hmm. You and my sister, you were... Is there something between this cop and her sister that I don't know about? Oh, sh you shut up. Uh... I apologize, Bambina. Something must have gotten to me. Maybe it's that dry wind that's blowing through the prospector's office. Or all this alcohol I'm drinking on the job. I know. <laughs> a dry wind or ill will, some, uh, someone up to something here. But who? Me. Office atmosphere. Oh my god, you can't keep tricking us with more dialogue. <laughs> Suspicious about Mr. Edgewood I've been flying around here for nearly two years from now. Or is evidence in arranging testimonies, you mean? And kissing spiky hair defense attorneys. These are all allegations. <laughs> he was unbeatable because of what he did. Because he did whatever it took to win. Including kissing defense prosecutors. I don't know what you mean. Unbeatable, that is. Until he met you. Well, rumors are just rumors, aren't they? These are prosecutors we're talking about. Evidence is everything to them. Just look at his lips. There's the evidence. If you follow the rumors about Edgeworth to their sources, you'll find one person. But they're off limits. Untouchable, you might say. One person? Who? Hate to say this, but it's your old sister, Bambina. Chief Prospector, Lana Sky. What? My sister? A girl kiss. <clears throat> Edgeworth couldn't wrestle all those cattle by himself. Some people load their guns with bullets, some people load them with the deals. 
What? You're saying Edgeworth's making deals to win this trial? Where there's gunshots, there's bound to be bullets. That's what the old timers say. There's a big old secret hidden around here somewhere. Everyone knows it. If it's a secret, but everyone knows it, but it's hidden, is that why Detective Gumshoe was taken off the case? Did they target him because he was the closest to Edgeworth? So, uh, how are we doing, Mr. Wright? I... oh. I guess we've got some clues. We have an autopsy report, a note from the victim, and a cell phone. So you think we'll be okay? <laughs> well, the only thing still bothering me is that Lana's confessing to the crime, so, you know, she said she did it. No problem. I can guarantee you she's not the criminal. Oh, by the way, Emma. I know that song on your phone plays when it rings. Oh, it was what? her phone. How would you get it to meow like that? It's the Seal Samurai theme song, isn't it? That popular TV show for kids? You murder! You're the murderer! You're the one who is! The phone that rang earlier wasn't mine. It was yours. At 518 after the murder took place. Your sister called you, didn't she, Emma? Murder. I'm sorry. Can you tell me what she talked to you about? Should we, like, move to the side and talk about this? Not in front of, you know... No, no, right in front of the fucking cop. <laughs> Texas sheriff. Uh, she hung up right away. I see. That you're lying. Last call she made was to Emma on the day of your murder. Objection. A detective is murdered and the suspect is the top prosecutor in the district. I've got a bad feeling about this. Like, maybe I still don't know everything that went on here. Whoa, guys, we I did it! Yeah. I murdered. That was the first case. You made that. The first segment. I murdered. The first section, now it's on to the court case. How do you guys feel? You want to court case it or you want to be done for the day here? Objection. I'm good How long with is whatever. the court case section going to do? Be. I don't remember. It's it's like it's hour, pretty it's hours. pretty long. I would probably say an hour and thirty. Okay, I can do that and then I'll tap out for the day. Okay. Bye. Objection. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, I'm done. Mm -hmm. Objection. February twenty third, nine thirty four. Actually, hold on. Wait, wait. wait. Let, let, let me get it for a second. Oh, all right. Okay, if we're getting up. Let me get water. <laughs> okay, I'm also gonna get a drink. <laughs> ah, Long I break. see how it is. Break time. <laughs> Everyone, break time. Here's a little be right back symbol. Break time. Go little, take a little break. Meow, 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 meow. progress so far. Murder. The murder. You're the murder. Murder. Murder.
Okay, I'm back. Welcome back. I murder. Probably. I murder. I also back. Fox. I murder. That's all I can say. Meow, 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 meow. Wait, are we all here? Yep. No. Larry's not here. You're right. I'm never here. I my body has left my soul. My soul has left my body. Probably. Okay, I'm ready. All right. All right we we murder together. We're all the murderers. If you put her in jail, you have to put all of us in jail. Hell yeah, let's go. We're all confessing to the murder. Yup, it was me. How'd you know? Speaking of murderers, how did the investigation go yesterday, Mister Wright? You know, Money. I discovered it was you. <laughs> Frankly, there's still a lot of gray areas. Or rather, the whole thing is one big gray area. Don't worry about me, no matter what the outcome. I'm ready to accept my fate. I you don't have this. face! Mr. Wright, let me offer you a word of advice. Yeah? yeah. A defense attorney should never believe their <gasps> uh, uh, who is, I just don't understand. <laughs> Defendant is called to trial because they are suspected of wrongdoing. Well, you know what? I do believe that her forehead is big enough to play tic-tac-toe on, so... I don't know. They were a little... Never forget that. Also, why you got a scarf but, like, no undershirt? You're clearly not cold. Do you think this is cute? <laughs> you remind me a lot of Mia, actually. She had a lot of... Interesting clothing decisions, too. <laughs> but there is one decisive difference between you and her. Your tits! Say it to your tits! <laughs> She's a D cup! You're more like a B! <laughs> <laughs> is that it? You have no You're personality. You're not a defense attorney. Yo! Oh, that's right. She's oh. a prosecutor. E told him. I believe it's almost time for the trial. Good luck, Mr. Wright. Yeah, what are you yeah, expecting? I just, I just barely read your chat. It says Texas is a state of mind. <laughs> We're not in Texas. We are in my head. <laughs> the first trial without Faye, without a Faye helping me. That's not true. No one's gonna bail on me. Bet bail out of me this time. No oh, bail me out this time. Except me. I'll be loaded there. So I have to discover the truth all by myself. We have no and face! Oh. Girl. Let's and... do this, Mr. Rock! I'll be <laughs> with you the whole way! She goes, in, she goes in there like it's a wrestling match. Oh yeah, match. my strap liability. <laughs> yeah, her 16-year-old. Let's fucking go! I know, in just the get in the courtroom. Imagine you're like you're on trial it's for like some kind of car incident. Cap. Yeah, you're no you're cap. you're in trial. Oh, that's no printer, Mister Ray. Oh, Twenty year old comes in to defend you. Yo, let's fucking go. I got you, dog. The judge is like, like, I did the murder. And she's like, cat. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Lada Sky. That's not his voice. Is <laughs> ready, Your Honor. <laughs> The prosecution has been ready for a while, Your Honor. I don't know what that voice is. Edgeworth. He had a gun last yeah, time. What's it's been two whole months, but I haven't been. This is, I've been in the court. It's just this trial. Two months yeah. since you held a gun. <laughs> <laughs> haven't been sober since. I hope that personal feelings will not be part of the proceedings. Whoa! <laughs> These are all allegations. He's like, not in the Clearly. courtroom, Edgeworth, please. Guys, we can't talk about what we do in the bedroom. Can I help? Rumors. <laughs> I will choose the path I think is right, regardless of what those around me might say. The judgment to be made here is in our hands, not those of anyone else. Well, Mr. Wright or Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement, please. Chief Prosecutor Lana Skye has committed an unpardonable crime. Not only this, but she was rash enough to commit it in the prosecutor's office law. Wow, he's so much more forceful in person. <sighs> Tell me about it. Tell uh, me about it. This writing. Oh. I thought feel like confessing to everything. Oh. <laughs> What'd you do? 
However, she will now pay for her rashness with her life. It's a little extreme. There was a witness to her crime. A professional witness. I'm sorry. Well then, who's the right? Wait, I forgot how I did his voice, to be honest. <laughs> um, it's okay. He did sound like he was in pain. <laughs> <laughs> well, Just sound then. old. <clears throat> nope. well, well then, nope. call your first nope. witness. Uh, That's too old. Well then. Call your first Dude, witness, Mr. Ashworth. He's not dying. <laughs> Is he 90? <laughs> he's he's at work Damn. right now. <laughs> <laughs> the prosecution calls its first witness, Miss Angel Star, to the stand. The kappa point? Oh, shit. Yep, that's right. <clears throat> hmm? Haven't I seen you somewhere? <gasps> Whoa, caviar <laughs> lunch? <laughs> You ordered the caviar lunch, right? Never had caviar. Oh ho ho, caviar! I've never eaten caviar before. Oh no. Yeah, like a pops from like. <laughs> <laughs> just wolfing it down. <laughs> that is really wolfing it down. Ah, and for you, I have a fiesta bowl. <laughs> That's just rice and rice seasoning. What a what a what a cheap bitch. Uh, thanks. Yeah, that is just bonito flakes on that. <laughs> Will the witness state her name and profession? Ah, and you, sir. Did you order the fingerprint lunchbox? That's just black sesame seeds and rice. Yeah, it's not even soy sauce. It is too early for lunch. Your name and profession, please. It's never too early for lunch. Hmm. Well, your honor, how does it taste? So, this is why everyone raves about caviar. It's so tasty, it hurts. I've always thought caviar would taste like pickled tapioca. His voice changed again. What the heck does pickled tapioca even taste like? Name, profession, now. Me? The name is Angel Star. Don't go forgetting it. I find myself running Lunchland these days. Is that what you wanted me to say, Mr. Edgeworth? Very well, witness. Please describe the incident to us. The prosecution will wait. I'm not finished eating. Oh Hurry it up gosh. then. <clears throat> As you know, we usually call on the police to provide a description of the crime. Your Honor, as Mr. Edgeworth has said to the court, I am a professional. Hmm? Oh, what exactly does that mean? Until two years ago, Miss Angel Starr was a special investigator with the police. She was a first-rate homicide detective. Whoa. What? This star was a detective? Ah! Ha ha. Oh, I know who you are. In the cough up. Cough up queen angel star, your honor. Long time no see. Very well. I, You may continue with your description, Miss Star. Just who is this lady? If I might have the court's attention over here. The parking lot at the prosecutor's office is divided into two blocks. A block is for the prosecutor's <laughs> office personnel. Yeah, a block? A block guy? <laughs> oh my god, he said it was stuck in my head. A block? <laughs> B, B block is for visitors and clients. A chain, a chain divider, divider separates, separates the two blocks. I suppose that's to keep visitors from taking up prosecutor spaces, yes? The crime... Oh. oh. The crime took place by a car in the back of A block in the car's trunk. The killer stabbed the victim with this knife and went to drive the body out. Unfortunately for her, there was a witness, and an, and arrest, an arrest was made, made on the spot. How convenient. Yeah. And who is this valiant witness? Why, it was me, your honor. Oh, 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 you! Witness, did you see the very moment of the crime? Of course, your honor. Immediately after that, I apprehended the chief prosecutor. Hmm. It seems rather cut and dry, doesn't it? Well, Mr. Wright. Um, I can't agree on principle, Your Honor. 
It seems that some poor losers are unwilling to accept the truth, Your <laughs> Honor. Jeez. Damn. Yeah, loser. <laughs> Shall I proceed to crush what little hope they have remaining? If you can, then give them your worst, Miss Star. Wait, are they talking about me? <laughs> Get fucked. Wait a second! Somehow, I always knew a day like this would come. I was on my way to deliver a lunchbox to my boyfriend. When I sent something... Perhaps it was my finely honed detective's intuition at work. Oh, pretty angry. Although the wire fence, I saw the chief prosecutor standing next to a garish car. Garish. The chief garish. prosecutor was holding a knife in her right hand. Then she thrust the pointy tip of the knife into Detective pointy. Goodman's chest. She took the pointy thing and the put it into the guy's body. <laughs> Into and then it disappeared slot. inside his heart. Maybe <laughs> hmm, a lunchbox, your boyfriend. How touching. Your voice is really starting <laughs> to get weird. <laughs> As you can see, there's no room for doubt. <clears throat> the key point of your testimony seems to be nothing other than the point of the knife which you saw being stabbed into Detective Goodman. So, how does it feel to be utterly crushed? I haven't even started yet, and I'm still thinking about that. It's merely a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. It's fine. Very well, Mr. Wright. You may cross-examine the witness. Where did this go? Alright, anyone has anything they, they felt like needed to be pressed in? Can we press all of it? Is that no problem? Yeah, we can do that. Hold it! Hold Hold it. it. So my How did you know? Head. I respect the prosecutor's basic abhorrence of crime. Yet their methods are ugly and twisted. Twisted methods will always lead to tragedy. It's the lunch the, the lunch lady's uninformed opinion is duly noted. <laughs> Given that they are used to be erasing inconvenient evidence at their whim. Sheesh. Killing off a detective that knew too much is merely an extension of that. Hmm. Mr. Star, do you have something personal against prosecutors? I felt that I had one found my dream job when I felt that I had found my dream job when I became an investigator. And if I hadn't been laid off by those prosecutors over there. I'd still be one. Damn, yeah, she was laid off. How old is she again? Oh, we got, we got to like thirty-one. We got to double down on her. Thirty-one. Yeah, she's thirty-one. She got laid off two years we all ago. Said thirty-one. You didn't believe us? I know. Yeah. All three to us. Dang. Dang, that's too real. Laid off. She was fired. To me, prosecutors are nothing more than worms. And I still love them if they were my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> that said, I am a pro, as you know. My testimony is unbiased and flawless. Very well. You may continue, Miss Star. I was on my way to deliver a lunch break to my boyfriend. Hold it. Is this boyfriend? He's the detective? Not... That boyfriend, the security guard. The, the that boyfriend. You have several. He, yes, this boyfriend, that boyfriend, and the other boyfriend. Care to join? The yet another boyfriend position is still open for applicants. I'll stick with the lunches, thanks. Note to self, the judge. Had to think before replying. The security guard room is in the lot in A block. Never seen a person hit on a judge openly in the court in the courtroom. <laughs> it's up on the second level, so you can see courtroom. everything from there. Max Riz level. That would be the room with the security sign on it. Scary night! Scary night! There, shut up. <laughs> it's the middle of the night, you can't be yelling security. <laughs> Oh, right. <laughs> Incidentally, did you bring your lunch boxes by car? 
Since I'm a visitor now, I parked in B block. B for bitch. <laughs> Hell yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Please. I'm dying. B for she big was in whore. the B block when she witnessed the murder or the crime. No, she busy in the B block. That's what they call it, the B block. <laughs> when I said oh. to the picture, I found it hard no, to take the picture away. Hold it. Wait, wait, wait. You sense something? So you're saying you had a premonition of murder? You're such an empath. <laughs> it felt like, how would you say? Oh, yes. It was like the feeling you get when you view a pumpkin chock full of seeds. I have no idea what that means. Speaking of detectives, <laughs> everyone just ignored her. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't the victim Bruce Goodman also a detective? Yes, well, he was like a young cheese. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if that's a young what? cheese. What the fuck is she saying? A pale white cheese, not yet tan. Tangy with experience on the streets. I'm sorry, saying that to people. Oh, you're new, you're the new hire. You're just like cheese, bro. <laughs> you're a pale, pale white, white cheese. cheese. Yeah. <laughs> mm, that I must be a uh, hard, yellow, and sharp as a tack. What the fuck? Don't encourage it. <laughs> yeah, tell with me the I odor of an old cheese to match. Yeah, tell me I oh, smell geez. cloudy. <laughs> In any case, there in the lot, oh I felt something stirring in the back of my mind. Back of my mind, dude. In the back of my mind. Face, I saw the tree <laughs> posh of your city. Involving into chaos. You had exactly what I was going to say. You thought exactly. By garnish, you mean. <laughs> garish, you mean. Garish car. Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yes. Mr. Edgeworth's car? Incidentally, the knife with which the victim was stabbed was also Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth's knife? Wasn't it? Hmm. Indeed it was. Because you stole his knife over the road and he is a knife. Crazy! <laughs> oh, what an <laughs> odd case this is. And the person you saw, it was sure it was the defendant. I saw her from no further than 30 feet away. I'm certain it was her. He's telling the truth, we're doomed. Let's just do what we can. Even if we don't have any proof, we can always nitpick. You're right. Let's reach. Let, let's just grasp for things. Witness <laughs> in your Grab testimony. Straws. Clearly... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll make up something and then say you can't prove it didn't happen and then we'll prolong yeah. this for days. Mm -hmm. yeah. Same old, same old. In your testimony, you clearly say the following. Prosecutors are nothing more than worms. Ergo, you are a biased witness. You might want to keep those silly opinions to yourself in the future, rookie. Huh? Rookie? Unless you're willing to risk the consequences of doubting me. Hm. I'll fry you like a fritter. Crispy on the outside, chewy on the inside. Sound delicious. Oh my God. Kill me. That, that was insp it's inspiring. I'm hungry now. He's threatening me in your I courtroom. Heard that tag light elsewhere. You could try plagiarism. <laughs> I may be re relegated to the lowly post of lunch lady, but my instincts are home. <laughs> but my body's still rocking. You see these boobs? Oh, I'm honed. Christ. I'm honed. Wait. A, a photograph? You, you took this? The moment I witnessed the crime, my reflexes took over and snap. I took Yo. a photo, a picture. Yo, she's a TikToker. She's ready. In fact, one of my lunchboxes is rigged with the camera. Oh my gosh, she is ready. I suppose that's more exciting than just hanging around, having it hang around your neck. Witness, why am I only seeing this photograph just now? You think I show it to you, a prosecutor? Think again. <laughs> it's like it's like the fifth time he's been fucked over by a witness now in his career. You know. <laughs> <laughs> My boyfriend works in the photography photography division. Damn, <laughs> security affairs. prosecutor, photography division, patrol man. She got all of them. Well, this is most certainly the defendant. Mode of the crime, photographed by Angel Star. 
Uh oh, this is unmistakably Lana Sky. So what was the, the so what was the defendant doing at the time? Ace. The cheapest team is holding a knife in your right hand. Her oh, right man. hand. She's left-handed. Tell me more about this knife. And this <laughs> Wait a minute. Hand. She used her foot in this photo. <laughs> it's like a foot <laughs> shot. Like, huh? <laughs> well, I'd say the blade was about four inches long. Does she know that? Is that oh, right, right, Mr. Edgeworth? It is your knife, after all. How uh, does she know that? <laughs> um, yes, that's about right. Prosecutors are, by nature, well versed in the location of a man's vital organs. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Wait, wait huh? Accurate. Wait, by nature, well versed oh, in the let's location. Let's let her cook, let her cook. All right. <laughs> I'm sure it was easier than boiling an egg for my egg salad surprise. I don't know what she's talking I don't know about. She went with that. <laughs> <laughs> what? You can't just testify as her. <laughs> testify as to her ability to kill an egg. I mean, a, a person. Hmm? Perhaps a chicken salad set would have been a better metaphor? What are you talking about? So the defendant was holding a knife. What then? So the defendent was holding my four and a half my inch knife. knife. Yeah, my knife. It's bigger. Try Tell the court we tell the court why you didn't try to stop this crime. It's because there was a fence in the way. You did see her as, as she raised the knife to strike, no? Hmm. The defense has a point. Unfortunately, by the time I realized what was going on, it was already too late. Too late? Yes. The next moment, the chief prosecutor brought down the murder weapon. I... I see. It's only a flesh wound, Mr. Wright. We can make it. You said that before. <laughs> Anything else? <laughs> Scientifically speaking, this star's testimony is flawless. Uh-huh. Sounds pretty uh. fatal to me. Ah, shit. <laughs> oh, what do we do? Is this it? My sister's I guilty? What, she confessed <sighs> to it. What did you, what you think was going to happen? Let's just keep I her heads on. You give it cool and press in the witness, impress the witness a bit, shall we? For some reason, having her panic next to me is making me feel calmer. Don't <laughs> smile like that, bro. My sister's going to be guilty. I'm only 16. She Somehow I would okay. do it to I think this is the newest thing we got. A security room, the telephone, the car. I did not see that ace. And that's the, the B block. That she parked on this side, right? Because she doesn't. Yeah, she parks on the B side, yeah. Okay. And she can see because it's like a, just a, like a wired Little fence. fence kind of thing. Yeah, yeah well, it's a, a gated about fence. The, the security room again, but they. They wouldn't be able to- what'd she say about the security room? Uh, it says it, so... Yeah, did she say she saw from the security room? No, right? Cause she has a- She said something about the security room. Uh, Through the wired fence, I saw that she pressed her standing next to the garnish car. Okay. Mm -hmm. But she said something on. about the, her boyfriend in the- She was going the that direction. Room. Yeah. Well, it didn't he look like- there. Yeah. Well, we didn't grab any new evidence from that, so we can only really counter-object with what- the, li the testimony. Yeah, Let's with look them. at our evidence. Yeah, what do we got? Okay. We have the knife. I don't really think there's a contradiction this with that. This is five inches. <gasps> I don't think. Oh, maybe the um. murder and the murder of the time in the car. Maybe like the timing. Yeah. Or is it? Uh, or is it the photo? Let's take a look at this. I'm gonna take a look at this. She got a, she's got a bloody coat. She doesn't have a knife she, in her hand. Yeah, she, where's yeah. the knife? I don't see the knife. She has and blood then. Gun. She has gloves on. She's missing her scarf, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, she is. Okay. What's on her neck, then? She cut her neck. She got a neck, dog. All right, okay. Wait, wait, she's wearing gloves. Mm -hmm. She uh, said she got her hand hurt. Yeah. That's why she first standing next to a garnished car. The church was holding a knife in her right hand. Oh, maybe we okay, could do this let's, here? Uh, let's connect with that. Yeah, yeah. How can you, how can you prove that that's wrong? Yeah. Cause she's wrong. Yeah, same just case, just case. Mm -hmm. All right, present the the wait, photo. Wait, wait. Yeah. Wait, how do you prove that she had the knife in her right hand? Well, if she took this photo like minutes before the murder, 
Yeah, she said she took a snapshot as soon as the murder happened. Yeah, that she was dressed point after the Zoom test, yeah. Knife. Holding a knife in her right yeah. hand. Yeah, but there's no, and there's no fingerprints. Oh, oh, maybe, oh, well. Traces of no prints, but she's wearing gloves in mm -hmm. this one. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so it makes sense that there's no prints. Whoops. Uh, but I guess we can still object because technically the moment of the crime as photographed and she's not holding a knife in her right hand. So this is clearly a contradiction that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay. No! Objection! Objection! No. Objection. And you witnessed this? You saw Miss Sky stab the victim with the knife? As I've already said, yes. I swear it on my finest salmon swirl. <laughs> That's just a rice and unagi sauce. Where's the salmon? Yeah, then you put a <laughs> bottle of unagi sauce in there. Hmm, I'm sure that is a fine lunch. But isn't that odd? Look at this photograph. <laughs> Every time I look at it, it makes, makes me laugh. laugh. <laughs> <laughs> this photograph you took at the very moment of the crime, is it not? Then why is Miss Guy not holding the knife? This sounds like a childish thing. Well, she's not holding the knife in this photograph. I'm sure what she's saying. Mm. Well. <clears throat> um, Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts? Objection. That had to be the weakest objection I've ever heard, Edgeworth. Yet yeah, it was still stronger than your ever feeble mind, Mr. Wright. What do you mean, Ashworth? I feel a little tension here. This photograph was not taken the moment before the stabbing. This was taken the moment after the stabbing. Objection. And how can you even tell that? Blood that? splatter. Huh? See the dark crimson stains on the chief prosecutor's coat? No, because it's a black and white photo. <laughs> <laughs> But it's a black and white photo. <laughs> oh. Ah, oh, yes, it's hard to tell, but it could be blood. Or oil, because there's a barrel right next to her. Oh, well, Mr. Wright, I see no problem here. No problem? Except... Oh, I see. Oh, Hi. no problem. Except you. Mr. Wright, are you going to just sit there and take that kind of abuse? I'm used to it. <laughs> uh, you got a better idea? He'll he'll kiss me later. It's Diggy. Fine. Objection! We got problems. Probably. Okay. We, yeah. Object. Object. Hold the phone. Wait. That contradicts what the witness said in her testimony. Namely, that she took the picture the moment she witnessed the crime. Well, it seems I was slightly unclear. My apologies. Bruh. <laughs> that. That's it. If you run out of lunch, you order seconds. Problem solved. You know, she really speak in my language, damn. Hey, <laughs> If you don't like it, try ordering the jumbo-sized lunch from the get-go. Good advice. I'm not sure I understand it, but good advice. No, go big or go home. She gets it. I didn't have time to stop her. Prosecutor Sky was cold calculating like a robot. She kills without pain or remorse. It was a premeditated murder. Whoa, whoa premeditated, dude. Objection. Premeditated? How do you even know that? Like, what? Look at the chief prosecutor's hand in that photograph. Well, it certainly does make me laugh. Are those gloves? Surgical gloves made of thin rubber, most likely. Why would she have those on? Uh... Maybe she's a surgeon? If it was not premeditated, she would not be wearing those gloves. Oh, uh, yeah, I, 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 oh my no, gosh, no, she was no. wearing gloves. Those gloves do seem to tell a tale, a tale, tale of premeditation. <laughs> premeditated murder. A serious offense. What is that this to your testimony? The rubber flaps. The perfect. The perfect. The rubber flaps. The perfect. The perfect. The perfect. Hold it. What if she was just in the habit of wearing gloves, huh? Like driving gloves? Yeah. Or she was Michael Jackson in disguise. <laughs> Objection. The gloves were admitted as evidence when the defendant was arrested. 
They were rubber gloves of the kind used for autopsies. Wait, can we get the gloves? In other yeah, words, gloves. when the chief prosecutor came to the crime scene, she came to do murder. It's the only possible conclusion one can make. Or she was cleaning up the garbage, because I wear surgical gloves when I'm cleaning up garbage. You wear autopsy gloves? Yeah, I wear the blue line nylon gloves. Everything was planned. It was a premeditated crime. Uh, well, the thing is, she has that cut on her hand, so if the gloves have a cut on it, then it will prove that oh, she had yeah. it done the same time. Oh, right. yeah. Right. Yeah, that's Migoto. what I was trying to say, yeah. I'm sorry they took you off the force, Miss Sky. This is bad. Yeah, explain got the them cut. all thinking that this was all planned. Explain the cut. If she can prove this claim, her trial is already over. I've got to think of a way to show that this wasn't premeditated. <laughs> It's only Still a flesh murder. wound, Mr. Wright. You can make it. I, they're like trying to show oh you this. It's a flesh God, wound. It's a flesh that. wound. <laughs> it's only a flesh else? wound. Scientifically speaking, Mrs. Stars. Oh, I think this is what we. Yeah, this is so. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. So we know. We know that that's the line. Uh, right there. Plan. The rubber goes prove it. So how do we know this is not planned, I guess, right? How do we know this is right? not planned? Is there any way to show her hand at all? Um, I don't think so. Right, because we don't have that. Because the thing is... Yeah, well... It... Do we do we know what's on the phone? I don't think we know what, what was said on the we phone. We just know that she called her sister. Yeah. Mm. Oh, wait, what's the autopsy thing again? Uh, One knife wound died an hour and a half at 4 p.m. A death due loss yeah. of blood. We're just trying to prove it. So we're trying to basically prove that the rubber gloves don't mean anything. Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know the answer. I won't say anything. I know it. Okay. Oh. Is the evidence here? It is. It is here. You got to think. They the blue badger. They haven't. <laughs> the hint is that they didn't tell you. You have to piece it together. Yeah, it's common mm -hmm. sense. It's common sense. Think, 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 think about what we have in our hands. My attorney badge. My badge. There's something that she touched in here. Oh, she had the phone. She most likely also had that note, or at least he did. And then there's the parking lot. Well, the thing is, there's the a handprint on the blue badger, but I don't know if that means anything. The work of art designed by the chief of detectives, created by Detective Gumshoe. Meow, 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 meow. No hints, no hints, no hints, man. No hints in chat. They could do Let's this. I believe in them. It's in my Let's chat. I'm not looking. Um, I'm a little it's in your stupid. Chat. Let's look at uh, the, the trophy. The trophy? Okay. The trophy, trophy. It had the names underneath, and I think that's the only thing you can investigate. Um, and then here's the the parking, badge? The, the, park, parking the parking ticket. ticket. Reporting the parking prosecutor office lot entered at 5 12 p.m. Miles Edgeworth, prosecutor office. Well, let's investigate it. Miles Edgeworth, 17 12. Miles Edgeworth, 17 12. This is day on the day of the crime. I know, Emma. That's crazy. Oh, the, uh, the murder took place three minutes after Edward <laughs> parked his car. If only he was held up at the a uh, couple of extra red lights, he wouldn't have been caught up in this whole affair. That is perhaps, yeah. It just goes to show you, you never know what will happen when you run into a yellow. What did that show? That's not premeditated. Yeah, this is premeditated it with his stuff. Yeah. So, how could you premeditate? Oh, is that? it premeditated if he? Does that make? Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I agree. Just in case. Why are you saving? Oh, no, just in case we get <laughs> things right. Are we wrong? wrong? Oh, God. All right, uh, okay, so uh, present the ticket. Maybe it has a timestamp. That would be something. Okay, okay, let's just look really quickly. So the... At the other things, yeah. Wait, go to the the autopsy really quick. Because that says that he... It was, he... Deceased, blah blah blah. Does it say when? It says, it says between, between 4, 4 p.m. Yeah, he bled out. Mm. 
I don't know if that would prove that's premeditated. I think the parking one is the only thing I think of right now. Yeah, because that's like an unpredictable time. How would she have calculated like have all of that? Like, have his knife and his, his okay. thing. So, uh, stop? Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's see. It is Objection. not. This evidence clearly reveals a contradiction in your statement. Uh, what exactly is they were revealed? They are, and they are they. they no. <laughs> no. Um, Take this. No. Two damages. I, I, I saw the lines we were trying to make there. Just guess not that. Um. Uh, can we take a look at that slip one more time? Oh, this one? No, no, no. Yeah, the that's The 6-7 S12-2. 6-7 Do you think this S12. could be upside down? No, right? Possibly. Good, man. December 2nd. Uh, hmm. SL9. That kind of reminds me of DL6. Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Is didn't Kai? she get the didn't she get the knife from the car? So she like she didn't know it was in the, she couldn't have known it was already in the car. So she couldn't have like prepared beforehand because she got it from she would have already had a weapon. She would have she how did she open that? She yeah, how did she get access to his car? That also, yeah. This but also really if it was premeditated, wouldn't she already have a weapon? Like, yeah, why does she have to use Edward? Yeah. So, so that's that's not it's you want, that one, kid. The that knife. is correct. Objection. Nice, nice line of thinking, Kai. Yeah. They don't. They, yeah. This this one's this case is hard. They don't tell you shit. You kind of. Oh yes, yeah, the last case of the first yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> Witness, do you know what this is? Oh right, I still have to talk. Um, are you trying to test me? I sell box lunches for a living, you know? <laughs> what? Okay. You weren't always that, though. <laughs> That's a knife. The knife. Oh, The know. knife that was in Mr. Edwards' truck. Indeed, it is my knife. Oh my god, it was his <laughs> knife. <laughs> it was his knife. What is this case? What is this case? The bloody murder weapon in a red car all belongs to the prosecutor. Culprit! Chief is searching for me. Mom, our prosecutor's bad people. <laughs> the defense has a request. We ask that the witness provide an accurate testimony. <laughs> What's that, rookie? In your testimony, you stated that Lana Sky planned this murder, and that's why she was wearing those special gloves. Uh, it seems like a natural conclusion to me. The gloves do indicate planning. However, why would she not also prepare the most important thing, the murder weapon? Uh, oh. This knife has just happened to be in the trunk of that car. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're going to plan a murder, you don't forget the weapon. Can you imagine hearing that in court? Look, look, a word of advice. If you're, friendly yeah. defense lawyer. If you're gonna kill, you gotta bring something to kill. Yeah. <laughs> order, order, order. order. Great, now the tides are turning in my favor. Great show, Mr. Wright. My sister's as good as free. I don't know about that one. Mm, no, no, no. Yeah, you guys right. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I believe the next lunch you'll be eating is humble pie. Uh huh. What? What the? Fuck? <laughs> he, he pulls out actual <laughs> pie. He's like, mm. <laughs> I hope you weren't deluding yourself into thinking that the tide has turned. Oh. Not He's over such a trifling detail. But this shoots a hole in uh, the premeditated theory. Premeditated theory. <sighs> the prosecution okay. could care less if it was premeditated or not. The only one who seems to care is that lunch lady over there. <laughs> Damn, he's <laughs> fucking shitting on her. The defendant, Lana Sky, murdered a detective with a knife. <laughs> that is the only thing the prosecution need prove. Nothing else. <laughs> Very good, Mr. Prosecutor. I suppose you think you're clever now. But you know as well as I do that she planned on killing him. It's planned. 
If it wasn't, why would she have been wearing? I believe I'd like to hear your testimony again. Witness, please tell us only what you saw, not what you thought. Shit. How dare you? Hm. My powers of deduction are not to be underestimated. Really now? Yeah, really. Hey, just deduction. Lana Sky intended to murder Detective Goodman. That's why she called the victim all the way to the prosecutor's office. I'm sure the chief prosecutor had a grudge against the victim. Nothing else could drive that human machine to plunge the knife in again and again. Oh, uh, oh uh, yep. Yeah. Oh. The police were summoned from the police department to the prosecutor's office. It does sound like a lot of premeditation, doesn't it? So if I ordered pizza, does I am planning to kill the delivery boy? <laughs> hey, that's a good point. That's a good point. <laughs> Dang, I'm going to test that theory. Hold on. <laughs> I'm about to kill that pizza, though. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> in, any in any case, the defense may cross-examine the witness. Uh, but he, he was only stabbed He once. stabbed multiple times. Yeah. Only one stab. yeah. Okay, no, yeah, we'll yeah. yeah. We're all good? Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Nothing else could drive a human machine to Jackson. plunge the knife again oh, and again, oh, you dumb Jackson. bitch. You say she was stabbed him. She said you said she stabbed him again and again. But you couldn't have witnessed that. Are you testing me? Then I'll test you. With my moss <laughs> She got she got she got that. grass for gamers I'm to touch you know on the right go. Now. <laughs> Portable I'm afraid that dress. moss is growing under our feet as we wait, Miss Star. Oh. Ooh. Damn. Ooh. did not like her. I, yeah, I love how Edward's just like, fuck <laughs> these witnesses, man. <laughs> fuck these bitches. What do you mean? I shouldn't have to explain this, but take a look. The autopsy report states that death was due to a loss of blood from one. <laughs> <laughs> He's literally <laughs> shitting on her. Oh. Uh -huh. Aha! You're right. Objection. Good That's show, Mr. Edgeworth. What a hug. He's my hero. What? Uh, no! <laughs> no! He just interrupted me! I'm the hunk! What about my objection? No one even noticed. Well, this witness? Is his witness, too. Oh. You got the crime scene set, right? Oh, it comes with a little kid fork. Oh, thanks! Ketchup and rice. I always <laughs> believe that you never mistake ketchup for blood. But now I realize that such mistakes are possible. I don't... I don't know. I Ketchup for blood? I don't know. So, you're saying you mistook something for blood? When she lifted her knife, I thought I saw blood at her breast. I was staring at her breast. Splattered blood from her victim. That's why I thought she must have stabbed him at least. <laughs> she stabbed the ketchup packet. <laughs> why? What, we're saying say what you saw and not what you think. And then Maybe tell us like what times. you saw that you thought was blood. Testify. Mm -hmm. A red muffler looked like blood. You didn't have a red muffler. I'm just this <laughs> bitch. <laughs> all right, all right. Yeah, fucking, the, the fucking. Uh, <laughs> oh, no, you literally just submitted this photo. <laughs> What? Star, please! <laughs> Objection! Objection! The oh, witness clearly is not suited for detective work. Oh what? The suspect was not wearing a scarf or muffler of any kind when she stabbed the victim. And you proved it yourself with this photograph. Huh? But the, that can't be. Only a professional lunch lady could be so utterly clueless. Oh, she he just called her McDonald's burger flipper. What an <laughs> asshole. <laughs> Got a whole ass degree in criminology, now flipping burgers. Congratulations. Perhaps you finally found your true call. Oh! <laughs> Dang, oh. this is his witness. Our Schwartz, but good. <laughs> the judge is like, yeah! Drama. In the end, Mr. Edward prevails. What about <laughs> my objection? Uh, but but it was there, a scarf. No, not that, but something red, really. 
Well now, where were we? The witness has given us an entertaining interlude, but back to business. What? A witness continue your testimony. You saw the crime and apprehended the suspect. Tell us about that. Very well. I do remember some things accurately, at least. Ultimately, we couldn't shake the most important part of her testimony. The most important part? The part where your sister stabs the victim. The next testimony actually might be a moment of truth. Oh yeah, because she said she saw her, but her photograph was after. So... After the murder, the suspect attempted to run behind a partition off to her side. Quickly, I quickly caught her, explained her rights to her, and arrested her on the spot. You have the right um, to eat this lunch, and you have to pay for it! He shoves a fucking rice in her throat. Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. The muffler, That's man. That's what had me confused in my earlier testimony. The chief prosecutor made to escape, but against Angel Star, resistance is a futile. Isn't that wrong because of the phone it call? called her sister. Yeah. Uh. You're quite determined about this scarf, aren't you? I strike like a snake and bite like a cobra. They're both snakes, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's me, Angel Star. What you're saying is that you're a snake. That was yeah. a metaphor. First off, <laughs> a cobra <laughs> is a kind of snake. God, I love Phoenix. Don't bother me with details unless you want to get bitten. No, thanks. <laughs> Note to self, Mr. Wright is weak against poisonous snake bites. <laughs> the chief prosecutor <laughs> tried to resist, but her efforts were in vain. She knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. An oil drum? You mean the one that was behind the partition? Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator, this one. A leopard woman, rawr. Oh, rawr. A rawr. A rawr. Oh, Mr. Wright, a rawr. A cross-examination, if you will. Okay. What? <laughs> I'm gonna ignore that. Okay. We're just gonna go straight to it. <laughs> okay, just... Okay, I quickly caught her. Oh, she's on the spot. Ah, uh, yes, when I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. Okay, that's what she Do all of it. Do all of it. Okay. Why waste our time? Press Do all of it. All of it. Okay, there you go. Hold it. So, where is this... Where is this partition on the floor plans? I'm sure she means this wall next to the car. That's right. There's a wall there, about six <laughs> feet high. Ready. She was obviously trying to hide herself. Quite a natural thing for a criminal to do. <laughs> and what did you do then? Ready. Quick, quick, quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Ready tantrum. Give me the cat. Meow, meow, um. meow, meow, meow. Okay, meow, you can have him, but meow, only if you pay five hundred dollars to get meow, neutered. Meow, meow, what? meow, meow, <laughs> meow, 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 yeah. He was only 30 feet away from her the whole time. Hmm. Maybe I should press her for more details. No, yeah, press her, because she was on the other side nah, of the gate. Yeah, Yo, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go fence. up her. Whoa. I like to see this on the floor of plans, just to be safe. Point to where you were. The lunch line car was... Here. She, she was, was a visitor. visitor. Oh. <laughs> She was a visitor, <laughs> thus she was parked in B block. And that's when Edgeworth and Phoenix stare into each other's eyes. You're so hot, by the way. I'll see you tonight. Oh my God, these are all rumors. <laughs> so you were the you were witness the murder from here. You witnessed the murder from here. I would make it about thirty feet from the car. Yes. <laughs> Changed again. Is that correct, Miss Star? <laughs> 
<laughs> yes, yes, that's right. Did you like crawl over the fence? I am. But there was a chain link fence in front of you. I went over it, of course. Well, oh <gasps> my god! Amazing, the cough of Queen Lunch Lady athlete indeed. I doesn't see me. Like, I would have taken her a little tight climb over the fence. Can you prove this? Can you, you jump have gone over it again? That fast. Yeah. Can you jump over it again to prove it? Yeah, that fence was about nine feet high too. <laughs> nine feet high is like double my height. That's pretty fucking high. Yeah. That's okay. So how did Miss Sky not get away? I was too smart. Uh, what about the muffler thing? Yeah, the about? muffler is wrong. Yeah. The muffler man. Hold it. She mentioned the muffler. What exactly did she say? If I remember exactly, I would have told you in my testimony. Cheeky. Anyway, all I heard w her say was the word muffler. Just that one word? So what you heard wasn't the suspect talking to you, but to someone else? Yes, the ch chief prosecutor was talking on her phone. Her phone. She can't mean. As well. What? What? Wait, wait, I, I, I like how you just kind of linger like this, but like. <laughs> oh, ask further. You could okay. just continue. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know. I don't My know. Maybe phone. you guys wanna. Mm -hmm. Do you mean this cell phone discovered at the scene of the crime? Yes. Ultimately. Ultimately. My memory. It's like a salmon heading upstream, you see. Um, no, the court doesn't see, Miss Star. The chief prosecutor first attempted to use the phone hanging on the wall. On the wall? They have phones in walls now? That's right. Near the car, there was an emergency phone on the wall. Apparently, it was out of order. So she used her cell phone. Indeed. The emergency phone was out of order that day. Hmm, good witnessing, witness. Good witnessing? Whatever happened to good testifying? You should, of course, add this to your testimony. The things I do to please is rookie defense attorney. The word muffler was overheard during a call made to Emma at 8.18. 5.18. 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, do you think you could restate your testimony for the court? Aha! Uh -huh. I was gonna ask the same thing! I'll only say this one time, so listen close, rookies. She's only gonna say this one time. Woman, only killer. One. The oh, K wait. stands for killer. <laughs> the W killer. stands for a winner. The chief prosecutor stabbed the victim and ran behind the partition. Then she picked up the emergency phone on the wall, but it was out of order. So she pulled her own cell phone out of her pocket. Oh, right to the fence. She walked. And during that time, and during that time, you climbed over the chain link fence and apprehended her. Then, when I boldly grabbed her arm, boldly, the chief prosecutor hung up her phone. And you saw her doing this. What is it, Mister Wright? Oh, he got something. I think there's something there. You guys want to press this last one? Press it, yeah, yeah, just press it. Yeah. It just star. Resistance Hold is it. futile. She made her escape. Can you be more specific? She brushed aside my hand and ran. It was a terrible sight to see. Like a dollop of lard on a pot of foie gras. Huh? She even kicked over an oil drum at me. An oil drum? There was an oil drum laying on its side at the seat of the crime. But it's strange. Yeah, because it was on the other side of the partition, right? Mm-hmm. What's that? If she wanted to escape, why didn't she run the other way? Yeah. Oh, the other... The parking lot entrance. That's right. It doesn't make any sense that she would run from behind the partition to the oil drums. She's like, uh-huh, yeah, that's weird. <laughs> it's 
<laughs> Excellent. More mysteries. I wish we could solve a few more before finding more, though. So Miss Guy tried to run off. I'm sorry, my sister is so suspicious, Miss <laughs> Not as sorry as I am. But she didn't do it, you have to believe me. She said she did it. Okay, so we had that thing at the second to last one, which was yeah. right here. I saw it all. How did she try it on the phone on the wall? And then he went like, huh? Okay, yeah. so oh. do we have How could you have seen it? When there is oh, a yeah, partition. She couldn't... Yeah, she couldn't see yeah, that. Yeah, it's partition. six feet high. You can't see shit. Yeah, yeah, how did she know that she attempted to use that phone on the wall and had her phone out? Mm -hmm. Right? Because yeah. she was still climbing over the fence at that time then, technically. You think that's a good one, kid? Is that... Yeah? Yeah. So, so the map or the photo? The map. The map, right? Map. Yeah. That is... The wall. Uh, that is correct! Objection! <laughs> Miss Star, I have to conclude that you have a personal grudge against Miss Lana Sky. Objection! Mm -hmm. Objection! No, 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 well, who would have thought that you would be my knight in shining armor, prosecutor? You who, together with the chief prosecutor, kicked me out two years ago. Oh. Mm. And she got some history with them, too? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, Miss Star, this is a fatal contradiction with your testimony. How do you explain this? I don't know what you're talking about. Mess with me, and I'll make you cough it all up. What is that? Look at the floor plans. You said you witnessed the crime from this point. However, if that's true, you can see through walls, can't you? You couldn't possibly have seen Miss Sky making that phone call. I believe you see what I'm getting at. The emergency phone was on the back side of the partition. If indeed you were an A block, you couldn't have seen it. B block? B block. B block. You <laughs> couldn't have seen it. <sighs> My lunches! Order! Order! What is the meaning of this? It's simple, Your Honor. She's not coughing up lunch. She's coughing up lies. <laughs> Ooh, grr. Grr. Objection! That's quite a claim, Mr. Wright. Perhaps you'll allow me a question? Tell us exactly what lie this witness has told the court. Here's where the counterattack begins. I can't afford to get this wrong. The witness lied about... What she saw. The order of events. Oh. oh. What, what she, she saw. saw. What yeah, she saw? She kinda, yeah, right? yeah, uh, yeah. Or it could be where too. she saw it also. She wasn't actually... There. Yeah, because that yeah. is what Lana Sky did, but there's no way she could have seen it from her perspective. Because that thing was yeah. definitely off the thing she was calling her sister. We, we proved that. But how would she yeah. have known that? It had to be where she saw it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, kid? It sounds yeah. like everyone's agreeing yeah. on that yeah. one. That is correct! Miss Sky tried to use the emergency phone, but it was out of order. What is significant about this fact? You might be asking. Nothing. Therefore, it may be pointless for Miss Star to lie about it, right? Huh? Pointless to lie. I see. But say the witness did actually see Miss Sky using the emergency phone. It would mean Miss Star's witness this, the crime from a different location. Objection! A different location. Different now that's location. a pointless lie if I ever heard. Objection! Before you call my lie pointless, not that I lied, at least let me t <laughs> at least let me tell it. Let me ask a question to our clever wordsmith, Mr. Wright. Just where the witness, where was the witness when she witnessed the crime? Probably the security room. All the testimonies you heard until now is in one direction. The place from where Miss Miss Star witnessed the crime. Is Probably it the security in security room, right? No, no, because then she would have, have been murder. able to see. She would have been able to see the murder from over there. Um, yeah. So I think it'd probably be like 
But she definitely took that picture from behind the fence. Like, she has a picture, which yeah. is another weird thing. And the picture is after the murder. After the, yeah, the stabbing then it occurred. it would be, like, bottom right. Right? Like, right uh... here? Or right here? No, there. Um... I don't think it's on... I think it's on the A side. Do you think it's from the security room? Because she was there visiting her boyfriend. Maybe she just got there early. But then the thing is, how would she be able to see the crime from there? Well, it's because she knew the body was already dead. I, I think it's the security right? room, or, personally. But she's definitely such as it, to have it, known or been involved somewhere. Because they said it's high up, so she Whoa, probably oh, could have saw over the wall. Oh. Uh, take that! This is the only the place where she room. could have been definitely seen! Take, yeah. The security room. <laughs> the security guard's room! <laughs> Indeed, I didn't mean the to press security that. room is in the underground parking lot. It's well positioned. It's built on the second floor, so you can see the entire lot. Hmm, she would have been able to see the emergency phone from there. But why there? There are many other places she could have seen the phone. No. Nah. No. On this case, Your Honor. <laughs> nah, Your Honor. Witness not being part mm -hmm. of the prosecutor's office couldn't take. It couldn't park in a block. Yep. On God. The no only cat. place where she could have seen the crime and part uh, and the back part of the partition is here. I remember in your testimony you said you brought a lunch to your boyfriend in the security room, yes? Well, Miss Star? Mm -hmm. How many years have I been getting the better of men? To think that the tables could be turned. Today, a man has got the better of Angel Star. Oh my gosh, she's getting better of... I'm not turning back. The guilty will be punished. And I'll do what I must to make sure justice prevails. The guilty? Is she talking about the sky? Uh, Mr. Wright, doesn't this strike you as odd? Yes. Why didn't this start- why didn't this start light? Does it make sense? Huh? She could have just said she saw the crime scene from the security guard station. It wouldn't change anything. Exactly. This photograph tells all. It yeah, was the defendant who stabbed the victim. That truth still stands. Objection. It still stands? I disagree, Mr. Edgeworth. He's dead! What? If a witness is found to be lying, they're guilty of perjury. She knows this! <laughs> she wouldn't risk that without a good reason. So, tell us what is our reason, Mr. Wright. Huh? Oh, me? Who else? <laughs> oh. Mr. Wright, let's review what we know. That's what I got to Okay. Miss Star witnessed the crime from the security guard station. So, quick okay. question about this stuff before we continue on. Yeah. Why? So, how is she able to see the crime scene if there's a partition there? I just she's it's already a, it's, lying it's a, so much. So, I feel like she has to be involved. I, in I'm just murder. trying to understand. So the, the, uh, the partition the, the part is only six feet. <clears throat> yeah, so it's not super tall. Oh. Like six feet is like yeah. a little bit above me. Like I could I jump know, over if, that. If, if, if the door is tall, on, but the door still <clears throat> in like the same floor as it. I don't. Huh? Follow. No, the, the security, security guard room is on the, the second guard, floor. Uh, two stories up. That's big. Yeah, yeah. So, so you can see everything from there. Yeah, you can see everything. I see. I see. Okay. But she lied and said- How did she said... get that picture though? I'm so confused. Yeah, the picture- But she lied and said she saw it from B Block. Um... It make a vital difference, but what? What could change? Single distance... It would be distance to the crime, right? I think it's di- Does- uh, we'll change. Yeah, because then... Wouldn't they be the same distance, technically? Well, well I, I, I'm not even sure if distance matters, right? Second floor, so... Like, that would mean it could have took her longer to get there. Oh, I 
I but she had to jump a fence, apparently. Because it's not like she just, like, jumped out the window or something to get to the her. Um... Maybe the angle? Because then how she would, would have been able to see single stab? No, because she saw it from... Yeah, she saw it from a different angle. She's on the second floor. Why are you saving? <laughs> oh, I just, I just, I just save over every decision. Just in case, just in case. Yeah, just in case, yeah. What do we think? I think distance. I, I was between but the up distance to you. or the angle. I feel like angle. Because wait, actually, the angle, the angle could angle, make but... sense because yeah. then she, how can you? Prove but I don't think it makes stabbing. It how how can you prove she was stabbing him from the back side? Because the theory from her angle, she's technically. She wouldn't be able to see her physically having anything in her hand, yeah. right? But if she's mm -hmm. in the front view of him, she can see what she has in her hands and stuff and prove like, oh, she was actually stabbing him with the knife. Yeah, but she, if she wouldn't have that view. Anything. You couldn't, you couldn't, you couldn't prove that she was stabbing him, right? Yeah, I think it's angle. That's my zone. Oh, oh, okay. Why the angle at which she saw the crime occurred would change? The angle? What do you mean? Um, oh well. The security guard station is on the second floor, and um... She would have sort of... Wait. She would have sort of a more 3D view of the crime. And this is important why? Uh... See, I think mm. it's this. It but distance. why would the distance make... Because it took her longer to get there. Perhaps you'd like to reconsider, Mr. Wright. That's right, let's review what we know. Because rather than just jumping a fence, she had to somehow get down from the second floor to where she was. Miss Star witnessed the crime, the security guards. It did. would have taken her longer. So technically, if it took her longer, but, but then it is, she could have ran longer, away. But like, what more does that add? Because she could have just ran away. No, no, but I understand. I understand. Like, right there, is, though. <laughs> I don't exactly. Know. Like, her, her witness... She's closer, her... in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I say it's it's still distance. and like the angle is like she okay. witnessed it, but she witnessed it from a different angle. Why is the distance? Kai's any... line of reasoning is a one hundred percent correct, by the way. But it doesn't make sense. But it you, you doesn't watch, make sense watch, why watch, that like, would be the most the, the more important part than the angle to which she saw the crime. Well, well, Kai just said it. She would have enough time to run away. So she, why she's so, on the so, same parking area though? So, uh, so, yeah. Wait, she's, she's, on the from, she's all the way upstairs though. On the second floor. So the she, second floor, yeah. So all right, look. So, so yeah. I just think the angle is probably a lot more secure more reasoning than. Yeah. than but it, <laughs> but but the angle doesn't change the fact that this she is a stabbed steel the man. Samurai case. This I know is steel it really. Samurai okay, wait, wait, hold on. Let's 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 read this. Read this. Read this. No. Oh, it changes the distance between her and the scene of the crime. Objection. You're just gonna stop me anyways. <laughs> My condolences, Mr. Wright, but one look at the floor plans, and it's quite clear. Edgeworth is taking all the glory over here. The distance between the scene of the crime and the guard station is 30 feet. I don't see how that would change what she could see. Objection. Objection. Uh, what she saw is not in question here. Actually, it is. At, it's, no, it's it's, she's a witness. <laughs> what matters is the time it took her to reach the scene of the crime. Oh. Oh. Miss Star, you witnessed the crime from the security guard station. Now, how long did it take you to get to go from there to the scene of the crime where you arrested Miss Guy? Yeah, this is all very important. <laughs> well, witness. You. Yes. You explode. Is that a- You ordered the squid wheels, right? It's just rubber bands. Rubber bands on top of rice? <laughs> the quality of my lunch has gone from low to inedible. <laughs> I was bringing a PB&J lunch with fresh boysenberry jam to my boyfriend. Pretty good. Mmm, boysenberry for the boyfriend. He wasn't in the station, so I waited. I witnessed the crime from the glass walled station. See? They took her. And before I knew what I was doing, I found myself running towards the scene. I feel like going but down the stairs would have been the door so much was faster than climbing over a fence. 
I couldn't open it. Well, but the door was locked to you, so that's why. <laughs> so you had to go all the way around the entire oh parking God. lot. Which, granted, yeah, no. if it's a parking lot, it's pretty fucking big. And then... Yeah. That's why I had to go through the visitor's parking in B block. That's quite a detour. Yeah. So if I was... She could have ran away. It probably took me at least five minutes to get to the scene of the crime. Does that add up? F -f 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 five minutes? Oh my god, she was oh took god. five minutes to walk. Oh my god, she's so fucking slow. This changes things considerably. But it was that woman over there in the defendant's chair who stabbed him. I know it. I have photographic evidence. Mm -hmm. I swear it. I swear it on my finest plastic sport. You have a point, fork. and a spork is a wonderful invention. It is. But such a Would you like another caviar lunch? Absolutely. Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Just chokes and die. <gasps> Mr. Wright, you have to do something. Uh huh. <laughs> do I have any evidence to stop this? Raise an objection. I think we do. Yeah, you do. Objection! 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 Five minutes between the witnessing of the murder and the arrest. Think about it. You can make pasta in that amount of time. If you like it al dente. No, you can! Oh, 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 <laughs> very hard pasta. Yeah. I've got lunch boxes that tie pasta into knots, rookie. <laughs> nuh -uh. A five minute blink? Isn't that strange? 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 If you were a criminal, what would you do with five minutes, Your Honor? Well, I get a hamburger and I flee the scene. <laughs> hey, flee the scene? Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I didn't kill anyone. <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> but you have the instincts of a killer. You would yeah. run. But this time was different. <laughs> Miss Guy dawdled at the scene of the crime. She even had her picture taken. No true criminal would act this way. It's incon. It's in in inconceivable. Yeah. Yar. Another, another, another. Words, words, words. Well then, <laughs> it seems we come to an S of this testimony. The witness has a grudge against the defendant and a blank in her testimony. Hmm. Mr. Edgeworth is the next witness ready to go. Unfortunately, I appear to have overestimated this witness on account of her professional history. We did it. <gasps> we screwed that shut, Mr. Right? Yep, uh, yep. No, it's close. I'm afraid that the cough of Queen has been dethroned. And with that, court is adjourned. Oh, just like that. Yeah, okay. Oh, oh. oh, oh no, please. Mr. Edgeworth, you ordered the squid wheels, right? It's the rubber bands again. That's what you try mm -hmm. to force on me. I prefer to not take the defense team's leftovers. Anything else to say? Damn! I might be able to save you. I have decisive evidence. What was that? Oh, uh, no. Is another one of her trick lunchboxes? Yes, it's Freddy. called persuading the judge. My apologies, but we have no further questions to ask of you, Miss Star. Ah. Uh, is this your jumbo lunchbox? Woohoo! A triple decker! Out of the deference of the witness oh determination, I'll allow one more testimony. Like the Lunchland motto says, you won't be disappointed. I've already been disappointed. <laughs> what is she gonna pull out of her lunchbox this time? It's a body. <laughs> It's a gun. Yeah, bang, 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 bang! Yeah. It's a knife. Kills everybody in court. I should have mentioned those five minutes when I wasn't looking at the crime scene. And now, to the matter of the victim's shoe. Did I not bring this up? She stole a shoe? Yeah, she took it to the Two shoe. types of blood were found on the shoe. She got the shoe scanned? One, one, blood? one was, of course, the victim's, and the other blood type. Match that of the defendant, Miss Lana. Oh, that's what she scratched her hand. This shoe proves it. It's flawless, decisive evidence. Flawless, decisive evidence. What? There was a blood found on the shoe? 
Try Lunchland for all of your lunch and decisive evidence needs. Words, 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 blah, blah, blah. Objection. Witness, what's the meaning of this? Why is this the first time I've heard of this evidence? Because fuck you. Simple. As I've already said, I don't trust you with evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. That's why I took the liberty of investigating this myself. And you had blood tests performed? Didn't I mention? I have three boyfriends in forensics. Three? Damn. In any case, your honor, I can't accept this as evidence. What? You must know that two rules of evidence law. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. In other words, this shoe is illegal evidence, at least for the time being. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Uh, it seems so. Edgeworth sure is celebrating. <laughs> He's like, yeah, I got him, bitch. Yeah, I got him. Got him. Not so fast, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, did she got a receipt for that? Don't forget, I used to be a detective. As I mentioned previously, this shoe has already been tested by a member of the forensics department. As you can see, it was approved by the police department as of today. Damn, he got hit with the today. Even the general public can produce official evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh. <laughs> Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? This seems like a conflict of interest, which is also illegal. He could bring that up, but this is Kansas and nowhere land, so it seems yeah. so. Edgeworth is pretty sullen. He could at least study some evidence law, really. It's Prosecution's complaint notwithstanding. It appears that is evidence of fire and fire the second rule. There's two rules. However, it seems you have yet another count against you, witness. Anything to assure that the guilty are properly judged. White enamel shoe. Bear traces of blood from Goodman and Lana Sky. Alright, well, Mr. Shoe. Bright, you may cross it up the way. She stole it. Wrestled dude. it off of her foot. She wrestled it off her foot? Yeah. yeah dude. Only press the blood. evidence. Let's press everything. Oh, yeah, I want to look at this. There at the shoe. Bum, bum. Ooh, Smell the it. bottom. Oh, yeah, the that's bottom her. Too. <laughs> this blood, it's my sister's, right? Yeah, it has to be. It appears so. Lana's right hand was bandaged when I saw her in jail. She must have cut herself at the time of the crime. Of course, sis. Ouchie. Meow. Meow. But it doesn't make meow. sense, though, because meow. she also showed yeah. that she didn't have any blood on her hand. Ah, there's uh. blood here, too. On the sole of the shoe, it's got to be the victim's. <laughs> my cat's stepping on my keyboard. He must That's... have stepped into the puddle of his own blood. All of this blood, it's horrible. Hmm. But this she was blood might clothes. be an important clue. Oh. Had... Yeah, he stepped onto it. How would that? Okay. All right, let me okay. pee real quick. I got too much coffee in my <laughs> stomach. <laughs> oh, bro. Mm -hmm. okay, oh, we're, we're on a roll. On the, on the out. Go piss, girl. <laughs> I don't like her necklace. So far. I don't either. It's a, it's or interesting. Hat. It's a little. She's uh, advertising. Also, she has yeah, a she really fur is. jacket on. She's trying to be fancy. Try to prove she's fancy. For also, her I, I know there's problems with long bangs. At a certain point, you just gotta like cut them or just like pull them back. You know, she's gotta keep mm -hmm. flipping her hair back and forth. It's kind of stupid. I, I think she really likes you know flipping her she, hair back and forth. It, yeah, it makes her more easy. mysterious and seductive. She has to try really hard to be seductive. It's kind of cringe. She has multiple boyfriends. I don't think she has to try that hard. You know what? You're right. You you're see those right. boobs? She just wh <laughs> whips them out. Be like, you're mine now. And he's like, okay. Applications, too. Yep. Definitely not because they get free lunch. Definitely. It's definitely not. It, it's all about her personality. Her, pers her massive personality. Her massive personalities. Okay, so we have the shoe. The shoe. We have the picture. Um, I think it's like, like it, her gloves 
clearly show that she doesn't have any wounds on her hand. Yeah, it might have been after the photo. For sure. Mm. But the, the, the photo, quote unquote, was taken when the crime was committed, right? Bless you. Alright, I'm ready. I'm ready. Um, okay. Uh, you want me to press everything, or are you guys... No, it has to, can we see the evidence? Sure. Uh, present, check, um, shoe. Oh, you want to see all of it? Or... Yeah. Okay, so the new no, thing was the shoe. We, we, the note, we still have the note here. Uh, we got the blue badger. Two types of blood, blood on the shoe. Uh, blood on the knife. It's the victim. Wait, how and there's And there's no prints. Yeah, there, she stepped. There was blood on the bottom of the shoe, but there was no footprints. Like, My other question is, too, if she accidentally stabbed herself with a knife, wouldn't it have her blood on the knife, too? That's true. Yeah, and she doesn't Wait, seem... Wait, who shows on the gloves there? Those are victim shoes, right? This oh, is the, the victim. Yeah, it's the victim shoes, not her. Oh, okay. Oh. He's wearing black okay. shoes. So he stepped on his own blood. Yeah. Yes. And how did he get... How did... I think my, my statement still stands with the knife, though. Like, it should be on, her blood should be on there, too. Okay. But I'm trying to figure out what other evidence we got. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's only three things. Um, we, should only... push, we should uh, press. Okay. Okay, yeah, just press them. Why not? Hold it! Hold it! Why did you lie about those five minutes? Like, actually, though. I guess you could say I just wanted people to look at the results. At the results? How many times do I have to say this? I saw the chief prosecutor stab the victim before my very own eyes. Compared to that, a five minute blank means nothing. Then why didn't you just tell the truth? Don't make me laugh. We're dealing with the most untrustworthy of the vile lot known as prosecutors. Falsified evidence range testimonies, erasing and manipulating evidence. When you fight monsters, you need to use every trick in the book. This is when the suspects admit she did it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean... But false testimony is the most despicable crime of all, Miss Star. Let us just get this over with. You're going to jail after this. Mm -hmm. Hold it. Hold it! And you found this shoe at the scene of the crime? Oh, I detained the chief <laughs> prosecutor. I was, like, well, I was like, wait, is that me? <laughs> and notified the police department. I wanted to make myself useful while I was waiting for the police to arrive. So like an ill-trained pooch, you snuck off with the shoe. Jeez. Oh, say it like that. I was afraid someone would erase the chief prosecutor's crime. This shoe is my secret weapon if that should happen. See this fashionable basket I have here? Fashionable. It carries more than lunch boxes, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm happy for you and your lunch box. <laughs> In any case, you remove valuable evidence from the scene of the crime. Now tell us, what did you do next? I should really hell you in contempt of court. Oh, whoops. Yeah. Okay. So you brought it into the forensics department? Mm -hmm. If you're going to submit something as evidence in court, you need it approved. To do that, evidence must be analyzed by a forensics expert. She got away with it because her cop- because her little coup? Wait, she got away with her little coup because she used to be a detective. The shoe does appear to have blood stains on it. Well, the man was stabbed, after all. Mm, he was stabbed. And that blood belongs to the victim, Detective Goodman. As I said, there were two types of blood found on the shoe. Alright. You can't say for sure the blood belongs to the defendant with the blood. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> yeah, that's what blood tests are for. You claim to know something about blood tests, rookie. Huh? Well, speak up. Well, blood comes from four types. A, B, O, and A, B. 
However, you can't tell from a blood test pl blood test whether a murder was com whether what you know. Mm -hmm. no, you, got <laughs> you got it. Got it. <laughs> Everyone's just like, uh huh, yeah, uh, yes, yes, uh huh. I know a lot about blood. I'm that's, anemic. <laughs> that's just a figure of speech, Mister Wright. How's it going, Sammy? Actually, we can di differentiate between million types uh, Hi, types with all the blood tests out there. Which means that we can more or less narrow any sample of blood down to just one person. Shut up. Or so I heard. <laughs> that's pretty specific. If I had a little more time, I would have gotten DNA test results. But they said there's very little doubt it could be anyone's but Miss Lana's guys. Oh, the suspect's blood was found on the victim's shoe. That ties her directly to the death of Detective Goodman. I was afraid he was gonna say that. But can we, like, prove that or something? I mean, like, we can't, we, we can't well, we just evidence. people's conventions oh, we'll off of assumptions. <laughs> I can't let this evidence go through without a fight. Oh. Ew. Oh, it's fish you guts. You the pepper fish guts, right? How many uh, lunches did she just have on there? Some lot. like it hot, Mr. Wright. Ah, some baby. like your client. She's in enough hot water to make a whole vat of soup. He's like hot. Mr. Wright, do you or don't you have a problem with the shoe? A problem? It's not Louis Vuitton, that's what it is. This is critical. Yeah. Is there there's a problem. problem oh, did it's... you hit there's no problem? Oh, whoops, I just yeah. hit no. <gasps> Sorry. Larry! Zelda was biting something. my hand. I'll bite you. I'm kind of off Press the, the right cuff button. contradiction. I'm trying to avoid saying anything off the cuff today. That's pretty sly, hiding evidence like that. There's nothing sly about a lawyer using the law as a weapon. Right. <laughs> In any case, case science, science is always on our side. Don't forget. Scientific investigation is the wave, wave of the future. Hmm. Maybe I should yes. investigate this evidence a little bit more closely. Okay, so, so, sorry. I, I was looking at Zelda when I pressed that. So it's just this. And yes, we have a problem, uh, right? All of it. Yes, there is a problem. Hey, I have a problem. Ew. Uh, I'm really is there's a problem. There's a problem. If I'm not imagining things, I say there's one critical problem with this piece of evidence. A clear contradiction. That gleam in your eyes. You're still a young rookie. I'd give you a peppered fish gut now. But you couldn't take this heat, could you? That's spicy? Let's Mr. see what you have to say, Mr. Wright. What is contradictory about the victim's shoe? Show us the problem with this evidence. <laughs> There's blood on the shoe, on, on the, the bottom. bottom the on the shoe. bottom. It's the bottom. It's the bottom Take blood. That. Take that! Take that! I wonder if you noticed. There's blood on the bottom of the shoe. Don't mess with me, rookie. Or it'll be your blood on the bottom of my shoe. Oh my god. Uh, not threatening the <laughs> Indeed, there's quite, he just ignores it. Mm, there is blood at the bottom of the shoe. It makes sense. The victim was stabbed with a knife. What could possibly be contradiction contradictory about blood on the bottom of the shoe? Is it the knife? Is um, it the blue pager? Is it the parking stall? Uh... Wait, the, Wait, it's the crime photo, right? Yeah, Wait, crime photo. Crime Did photo? Did she stop him in back of the car after that? <laughs> like, is that what it's implied? That he got stabbed and then fell into the trunk and then his body was kind of like flinging out the other way? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah how did he get flipped like over that. the other way? And yeah. there's there's no footprints. That's mm -hmm. what I'm, like, I was trying to say earlier. Like, there's, there's blood on the bottom of the shoe. The floor. Yeah. yeah, and... There's nothing on the floor, so it's just weird. Yeah. Also, it was falling out. Okay. With the photo. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. everyone's agreeing with the photo. A photo. Save real quick, yeah. just in case. Save just in case. Okay. Yeah. That'd be the nice. photo. Uh oh, I can't. Oh, I can't save. I can't save. Oh okay. Just chose the photo. The photo. 
That is oh, correct. Like... Oh, yeah, yeah, that's correct. That is correct. Yeah, that that is. Yeah. Yes, that's exactly correct. The footprint. Note that the bottom of the victim's shoe is covered in blood. Then isn't that strange? Why weren't any bloody footprints found in the scene of the crime? Aha! Uh -huh. As you can see, there's no traces of any such footprints on the scene of the crime. That contradicts your claim about this shoe. Objection! Objection. No, this picture only shows part of the floor, so there could be have been bloody footprints. Objection! Objection. Then where, Mr. Edgeworth? Because... We checked that scene and found nothing of the sort. Sorry, I found anything of the sort. Oh my god, they're kissing! Oh my god, they're kissing. Oh my god, they're Water! Kissing. Water, no kissing! Well, witness. <laughs> what? Huh? I, uh... Great going, Mr. Wright, but... It's true that the lack of footprints is a contradiction. But then we have to ask why there wasn't a footprint. Oh. That's true. There has to be a reason why there wasn't a footprint and a 16-year-old is on the defendant's side. <laughs> <laughs> Think, Mr. Wright. Think! Why is she on the stand? Uh... Hey. I don't know why it's not there. I'm not good at finding contradictions. I'm just good. I'm just, uh, just good at finding yeah. contradictions. What? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Huh? Hold it. No, he no, has a holding no. line. I don't know why they would do that. I see. Now I get it. Get what? Get this, Pants Our witness is more devious than I give her credit for. We were hoodwinked to the very end. But she slipped. There was one vital hint to the truth in her testimony. What, what are you talking about? Think back to when she told us about apprehending the suspect. The chief prosecutor tried to resist but her efforts were in vain. <laughs> she knocked my hands aside, kicked over an oil drum. Oh, she's beautiful, but deadly. A predator is one. A leopard woman. I thought that was a strange thing for a normally cool energy to do. No nope. kidding. Now, witness. Allow me to ask you a very simple question. This oil drum. Was it empty? Oh. Uh, oh, that? Hmm. I'm not sure. I like your attitude, Mr. Edgeworth. Though apparently you're not the slowest conveyor belt in the lunchbox factory. Witness. Well, what's the oil drum? Was the oil drum empty? The oil drum kicked over by the chief prosecutor was brimming with water. Water? What does that mean? Still don't get it, Mr. Wright. Do you want to know the reason she knocked it over? The real reason? That she was scared? Oh, you don't mean... Yes, the suspect knocked over that oil drum for one reason and one reason alone. I mean, water can... Who erased the bloodstains that would become evidence against her? No. <laughs> water can do that. That ties things up quite nicely. The bloodstains left on the Diggy, victim's shoes... Came. Ties her quite clearly to this murder. Then, after the deed was it's done, she knocked over the oil drum to erase the ta the tail, telltale signs. Hold on, wait, wait. Hi, I know you didn't see it, but in the beginning of uh, the chapter, there is like two buildings that look identical. Oh, do you want to see it real quick, Kai? Yeah, and I feel uh -huh. like that's like such a key point to make here because it's just like. It's very um, strange. I have no idea what it's about. I've never finished this case. I've only ever gone this far, but it's just, it's so weird because there's just two buildings that are identical and it's like a hint to the entire case. Do you guys Wait, see what really? I'm sharing? Yeah. No, uh, I don't. No, we can't I see just it. See it, the, it, it didn't change. Game. Yeah. There was a nine tails in chat. I know. I saw it. I was real sad. Get your nine tails. Get your nine tails. Oh, nine tails I didn't gone. see it. No. There it is. This is this is the case right oh. here. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't see this. I or we, I did see it, but it was like this is the one you oh, enjoy, yeah. yeah.
that's loud. Oops. Two with a knife and two different buildings. The blue badger. <laughs> the blue badger. A knife. It's a red knife. So did she pull the knife out? Pause it. Oh, there you go. That was it. Oh. Uh, I think she just found the body. Is what I think. She was. Body was like in know. the trunk with like yeah, like, over. Balsa, yeah. why is it in Edward's trunk? Oh. Well, oh. Oh, whoops, okay. my bad. I have still many questions. I don't know what she said. I still have a lot of questions. I have a theory, but I think it's like. I'll, I'll say it after we're all done. Mm -hmm. Reminds me, Miss Guy, your right hand is hurt. Oh, Miss Guy's right <laughs> hand. Didn't she say she cut herself when she stabbed him? So that's when my sister's blood got on the shoe? Well, I see no reason to prolong this trial. Mr. Ray, do something, please. Come on. Uh, what do you want me to do? What can I do? <laughs> she said she did it. She said she fucking did it. <laughs> she tried She tried to conceal it. Uh, but, but... Enough. There is no need for further debate. Ready. The verdict, your honor. Very well. But Angel Star is on the prosecutor's side. She could have been lying about the water. This court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. Guilty. Ho! Hold it. Hold it. Who would say that? Wait. Oh, thank God. Little girl. What did you just say? Huh? Me? Did you say that I, Angel Star, was on the prosecution side? Well, yeah, you. You're hit by erasing the bloody footprints. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd had your fill, but here you are, demanding a second helping. Another lunchbox. A lunchbox called Evidence. <laughs> Pulls out a gun underneath all those baked beans <laughs> and corn. <laughs> wait, 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 witness, don't tell me you have something else. Objection. The time for deliberations is past. Any further comments and you will be held in contempt of court. Your threats don't scare me the cup up, queen. Look at this. Whoa! Oh my god. What the heck? A photograph? It doesn't make me laugh. Case. Anyone had the gall to suggest that the white shoe didn't belong to the victim? Hmm, I see no There's room for error victim. for this evidence. Mister, wait, wait, look at the asphalt photo. Hey, it's clearly wet. That's clearly wet. Erasing the last trace of doubt from the court's mind. Immediately after the murder, the crime scene was washed away with water. I'm sorry, Mr. Wright. I guess I, I couldn't help after all. Oh, oh no. Oh, hold on, wait. Sorry. I, I think I minimized it. It's not your fault. I knew we couldn't win this case from the beginning. And it means this is what your sister wanted anyway. Hmm. No. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. No. Mia, come from from the unknown. Objection. Right, win or not, don't be so quick to throw <laughs> in the towel. Uh, the towel. Ooh. The towel. <laughs> Get yourself a bath. Anyone else hear the voice of the dead woman? <laughs> don't give up. understand any of that. <laughs> and this is the last piece of evidence. Oh my god. Very well. We this time I'd like to declare the verdict for good. Objection. Objection. This doesn't oh. stop. Your honor, wait. What is it with you people? Chance. I can't hand down my verdict in peace anymore. Whatever it is, can it wait? No, it can't. Then it would be too late. Look at this photograph, the last one submitted. This trial isn't over until we give each piece of evidence proper uh, consideration. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
so right. Are you saying there's a problem with this latest piece of evidence? <laughs> so right. You saying there's something wrong? wrong? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think about that later. Yeah, there is a problem. I'm wrong. I gotta go ahead with this. I suppose as we come this far, we shall give every claim a fair shake. Very well, Mr. Wright. Show the girl the problem with this photograph. What's the um, problem? <laughs> well, that definitely it... stands out. Yeah, the muff. Oh, the, the muffler. <laughs> yeah, but what's uh, in it? Cloudy, yeah, the, the muffler. Let's the take a look. Wait, well, I didn't mean to click it. I was just oh. pointing at it. The um, problem in this photograph is here. <laughs> it's the muffler. She just said something about muffler. There's something. There's something out there. poking out of the car's muffler. Just wait a moment, Mister Ashworth. Your Honor. Just said muffler. However, I see no trace of a muffler or scarf in any kind of this photograph. Um, <sighs> who's who's gonna tell the mm. judge? A muffler is also a part of a car and motorcycle, Your Honor. Just think of it as part of the exhaust system, a pipe. Oh, I see, I see. What's that suspicious looking claw sticking out of the car's muffler? Hmm. So what if there's something sticking out of the muffler? What does that have to do with this case? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Objection. Sorry, Miss Star, but it's not going to be that easy. In fact, you already told us what this is, uh, why this is so important to the case. You said as much in your testimony. What? Let's hear what Mr. Wright has to say that is mine. Tell us why do you think this pizza cloth and the muffler is related to the case? Why well, she said something about the muffler. Also, her scarf is off. His phone. The, the phone call. Oh yeah, the phone call. The cell phone. Oh yeah, the word muffler was overheard during a call made at Emma. Uh, yeah, yeah just present it. Yeah, sure. I believe so, yeah. Take that! Take that! Miss <laughs> Star. Recall your testimony for the court. Ah, uh, yes. When I arrested her, she mentioned the muffler. That's right, I become my real testimony. testimony, testimony, testimony. Muffler? <laughs> Yark! Yark! You said it. <laughs> Could it be that the muffler you mentioned, you heard mentioned, was actually this exhaust pipe? <gasps> if so, that means this piece of cloth is vital evidence. Oh. Wow! <laughs> Whoa! 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 And we can't make a judgment till we have all the evidence. Well, no. it would have seemed we have suspended the proceedings. S suspend? I find myself wondering about that piece of cloth, too. If we leave any questions unanswered, here we do a disservice to the law. Have the car at the crime scene inspected at once and bring me that cloth. The verdict will wait until we've seen all of the evidence. Agreed? I suppose so. That was close, but at least we made it, at least for now. The court will adjourn for 30 minute recess. It's lunchtime after all. He's still hungry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, so we're touching. technically still wow. in the courtroom. 30 minutes for the courtroom, but we're done for the day, I would say. Okay, I have a theory. I know nothing else more about this case. But yeah, this, this is the furthest since, he has ever since, gone. Since where we left off like three years ago, four years ago, I don't remember how long mm. ago it was. Oh, am I saying this now? No, 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 I'm no. just quitting. Okay. okay, my theory is that he was killed in another building, shoved into that thing, Edward didn't know, drove over after he was done getting his award, and then she mm -hmm. knew that person was going to be there. I think it was the guy, the Bambina guy. I think he did it. Uh, and then we were working together Bambina. that way both of them could uh, move up through the system. Because mm -hmm. obviously she did something wrong before and a prosecutor got her ass for it, and obviously mm -hmm. he wants a promotion. And that's yeah. kind of how this is all working out. And that's what mm -hmm. I think, at least. So killed in a different building, brought there. Because he was killed... 
around the time of 4 p.m. and yeah. uh, 5 18. Yeah. So he could have been killed before. And you know what? I Maybe it wasn't even from a stabbing. To Edgework's car. Maybe it wasn't even a stabbing. What if that piece of thing that's in the muffler was actually like carbon monoxide poisoning? Well, it shows a picture of the guy with a stab wound in his. Maybe yeah. they stabbed him after he died. That's true. Mm. That, could, that could be a thing. And they also could have put the blood on there after the fact, too. Or like the mm-hmm. friends, like her boyfriends, quote unquote, you know? Mm-hmm. Her boyfriend. Yeah, she has too many dogs in this race to not be involved. Yeah. Or at least not to be like. Yeah, her. She got yeah. that dog in her. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, yeah. I feel like time. that there was a, the the whole freaking security guard location with the fucking doors. Because I guess like I misunderstood the layout of the thing. Because I thought there was yeah. an exit on the bottom left side. Yeah, it does. It like, it. Why? Yeah, that's why it's confusing because that door exists and you no, don't know until steel you. Steel samurai thing. Yeah, you it's don't know until one of those you press it. We're like the steel samurai. Exactly. You're not supposed to know that. You're just supposed yeah. to make that assumption, which is what yeah. this game does so wrong sometimes. Yeah. And that's what. Yeah. Just, like, let you figure it out. It but, just but, makes but, you like they said it was locked, but just like yeah, okay, it was locked. But but you didn't know. But you didn't know. Yeah. But Kai had yeah. the right mm-hmm. line of thought that she had to well, get to the crime scene and that five minute window is like what happened during that five minutes. It's really important. Yeah, well, yeah I think it's like me. it just didn't make sense to me because I'm like she's on the same side of it. But I guess like if she that there was no entrance for her in the bottom left because I assume yeah. there's an entrance you can just mm-hmm. go to. Yeah, that's but what she, my assumption yeah. was. But she took and that so photo. Like, hmm. She took that photo which was behind the. Oh. another oh. steel samurai case yeah. to me where it's just like guess the right answer we won't give you the the right evidence for it though. yeah just make like, that I think it's like it, it was like very like tiny little details like you could they told yeah. us the door was locked but i don't i didn't see that as relevant because i was like oh there's an opening on the bottom left somewhere but again mm-hmm. like that was my just assumption thinking there was a fucking exit on the yeah. left side and the right side of the fucking parking yeah. garage. How yep. the hell did you get I in get, here? Yeah. If I but get Ka- any more but, still samurais in this case, Larry. Yeah. If I get but any Kai more made a good assumption. Why, if it supposedly took her a little longer to get to the crime scene, why didn't she just run away? She literally had to climb a fence to get to yeah. her. So it's like... That wasn't, the, that, that wasn't part of the dialogue options, which is why it's just like... I don't know. It was, it's just weird. It's just All weird. Right. I mean... Yeah, I don't know. I just thought well, I think it'd be it's a, for like me that. it didn't make sense because like no, my assumption wasn't. was that she was again she's on the same side of the parking lot because that's also like I'm just like yeah technically she's on the second floor I guess but like mm-hmm. she's technically still closer she just doesn't jump a fence <laughs> you know what mm-hmm. I mean I feel like jumping a seven nine foot fucking gate is lot really tall like tall thing to jump. Mm-hmm. I just, it is. She climbed you know, that shit yeah, with high heels in her dress. That this is also the game that made it so that uh what was it called Will Powers wasn't the steel samurai and that it, what's his face didn't get stabbed he actually was, fell on a was, on a fence yeah, yeah. so so and most then they yeah brought yeah his dead ass body all the way yeah. i have to remember that this is the same game yeah yeah okay yeah the, you, we don't discover some things until we press them and question people because people mm-hmm. are all, all, all they're either two things they're either lying and hiding or they're misinterpreting something so that's like our goal goal and she was obviously I hiding. Like I, have to be, I have to pay more attention to those tiny little details. Yeah, they, they get like very... Because the thing get... is, like, for me, like, the guard thing being on the second floor, I was like, okay, and? Like, it was not that, like, to me, it wasn't relevant, but it was very um... important that it was on the second floor. But like, yeah, was like, yeah, um, they get like the very... Guard, the door's right there. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, they, they get very, like, you gotta, like, look at the evidence later. Uh, I think just in general, it, she didn't do it. I don't think she did it. Which, no, like, but she's uh, definitely involved. Lana did, or she has the her lunch lady? Somehow. Wait, who do you who are you talking about, Kai? Lana. Oh, you said you said Lana didn't do it, but yeah, yeah. Like, how, okay, I thought you said the lunch lady. I'm like, she's no. definitely involved. <laughs> She's a thousand percent involved. She's lying to me. I don't know her, well, but that why, bitch did it. Why is Lana saying that she did it? It kind of reminds me of how, like, Edgeworth in the previous case was all like, oh, we can't win up against Von Karma, so just say I fucking did it. You know, he mm-hmm. even gaslit himself to be like, maybe I did do it. It's like, no, you didn't. I. Yeah. So why is she saying uh, that? Is she being threatened? That's yeah, kind of what I was thinking. I'm like, yeah. I'm like, what if somebody's putting her up to it? 
Yeah, someone had or, like, shit on her. Someone threatened her or sister. Something. Mm-hmm. I don't. I don't know. But yeah, no. I, I need to know, Larry. When next time? When? I feel mm-hmm. next right. week. When? Probably. Like, right next yeah, Tuesday or Monday. I feel like once we yeah. finish the hey, Larry, this you're part of the my trial, and you're deciding where we're going. Uh oh. Stream. We'll be back on Thursday. Bye. Wait, wait, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Okay. Do your tickets, get your tickets, get your tickets if you haven't got your tickets. Get get your did I do my tickets? I, ticket I, ticket. I, ticket I can't okay. I can't remember if We're I We're gonna go watch toast. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. Okay, <laughs> toast. Oh good look. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Um I know where we're going. Cloudy raid. Whoa, crazy. Cloudy raid. Cloudy raid. Oh my god. It's a cloudy raid. Oh my god, thank you. And we know who we're taking all everyone towards. Where are we going, Larry? We're taking everyone to... To Disneyland. To Bow, who's playing Undertale. Let's oh go say god. hi to Bao. I don't. We can say it's cloudy. Larry, cloudy. I you never have everything messages. but a raid message. I know, like, you literally have everything. I'll take it. I know, I know, I know. Unprofessional. Unprofessional. Yeah, yeah. Not a professional. Yeah, we're not. Yeah, he doesn't even have that. Wow. You know what? You know what he has? You know what? You should go raid him while he's about to beat fans. Where's the Yeah, let's go. Let's go. Piss. Everyone just, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you for Ace Attorney today. Whoa. We'll probably be doing it again next week, and hopefully Larry's we'll have Sammy mirror. involved. Oh, hopefully dumb. we'll have Sammy, uh, know, Sammy this time. <laughs> so yes, take it easy, Sammy. everyone. Good night, and enjoy a little Sans whooping. Good Don't night, murder everyone. people. Time, time. <laughs> there you go. Don't murder people. Take that Don't with you. Don't murder people. That's my dude. I think you. Yeah. Larry Ray. Let's Larry go, Sans. Howdy. Ray. Howdy. Howdy. He's getting distracted. Oh, come on in. Oh my gosh. Okay. Just. Oh, that's fine. We'll Are you done streaming? How you doing, dude? Larry? Diggy stuff. Yeah. Welcome on in, Larry.